This is a special presentation of Riverfront Broadcasting Sports. It's time for the 2024 Boys State Hockey Tournament on Capital City Rock and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports presented by Kubota. The State Hockey Tournament is brought to you by Pelican Power Sports, Xander Auto Parts, Wagner Auto, AGE, AirTech, Weatherall, Ferding Electric, the South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association, and Kathy Sunshine Properties. There's a shot, they score! Barrett Schweitzer, his second of the game, and the Caps have their first lead, four to three. And by Beck Motors. Visit Brookings. Venture Communications. First Dakota National Bank. Hermanson Antodontics. Hockey Headquarters. J Bar Construction. May Adams and Leisure Palace. Raider plays it near side, face off dot, looking back door, they score! A pass that went across to the Rushmore Thunder, open up the scoring with 16.26 to go here in the first period. And by Capital City, Ford, Lincoln, and Toyota. First National Bank of Pier, Pier Regional Airport. Hunsley Auto Body and Sandblasting. The Watertown Area Chamber of Commerce the Field House, and First United Methodist Church. And one second to go, the sticks go in the air, the Brookings Rangers are the 2023 South Dakota State Champions. And now for the call of the action, John Winkler and Jim Lloyd. Back here at the Larson Ice Center, it is our second of state semifinal games as it is the Hawaii Capitals, the five seed, taking on the number one seed, Brookings Rangers at 21 and one, now 22 and one after their win yesterday in the state semifinal rematch from last year. That was the first semifinal last year, but here in the final game of day number two, the winner will face the Rushmore Thunder in the state championship tomorrow. And Jim, as we get set for this game, we know what the Brookings Rangers can do. Can the Hawaii Capitals beat them here tonight? Well, I think they can if they play well. They played well yesterday. I don't know if it's, is it good enough or not. If they play like they did yesterday, I think they're going to have a chance to win at the end. The Rookies Rangers won 11 to nothing over Watertown. They scored seconds into the first period, and they scored twice in the first minute and a half, before the first minute and a half, and had a 2 nothing lead. They're off and running that Watertown had just couldn't. Once you're down 2 0 to Brookings, once you're down, down at all to Brookings, you better hope you're staying within one shot. Because if Brookings takes a two goal lead, you're, you're, you're asking a little. I mean, we, we saw a four goal comeback from Sioux Falls East earlier today. If it's a two goal lead for the Brookings Rangers, you might as well feel like you're down by six or seven goals. That's how tough it can be to make a comeback against Brookings. Well, that's going to be really important for Oahe to stay at bay, stay within one shot of tying it up with them. Better yet, Oahe, if you get on the board against Brookings, Brookings doesn't play from behind very very often. They, they, they're not used to it. If you were to happen to get up on them early and then even go to two nothing after the first period, you might see a different Brookings Ranger team. And, and that's gonna be the key. The first goal, always important in a hockey game. But when you're playing Brookings, you want that first goal. You don't want to press. You don't want to take too many chances to get that first goal and put, find yourself in an odd man break, as Brookings does so well, and get yourself uh, down one nothing. But if you take the advantage, the Capitals, the, when they played here, we did, I didn't have the game and, and talk with Coach Steele afterward, but he said they had four breakaways that resulted in one shot in that first period. If they get four breakaways in the first period again, they got to have four shots and probably got to have four goals on top of it. <laughs> you, you can't, you, you have to take advantage of those chances because they are far and few between. The fact that they had four breakaways against Brookings says that some, they were doing something right. Yep. And not that, I mean, probably not so much that Brookings are doing something wrong, is that they're doing something right because Brookings doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. When I talked to Coach Steele at one point during the season, he actually likes how his team matches up with Brookings. He really does. Brookings is a, is a powerhouse, and they can do a lot of things to you. But Coach Steele, he does like their matchup, and he likes playing Brookings. 
And this is a, a big game. We've got a great crowd. Brookings has got their side full, just about full. The Capitals side is filling up here before we get set for this hockey game between the Brookings Rangers and the Hawaii Capitals. This is going to be a fun one. I, we, we didn't get the, the, the close game that we thought between Rushmore and Sioux Falls West. Maybe we get the close one here in this game. Who better to call the game? John Winkler. <laughs> He's going to have the game. And I know you've been waiting for this one, John. So uh, you uh, you have fun with this one. It's going to be it's going to be good from top to bottom. Well, any state semifinal game that you, that you get to call is going to be a fun one. And this one this one has the the makings of being a fun one. And if you're a fan of upsets, the White Capitals are your team. If you're a fan of the, the the top seed, which probably I mean when you look at it, it's mostly Brookings fans that will be cheering for Brookings, and everybody else will probably choose uh, cheer for Hawaii. Brookings, rightfully so. They've won the last four state or three state championships looking for a four-peat. And, and there's probably a lot of people that say we want somebody different. Yep. And, and Brookings can have that us versus them mentality because of the fact that uh, I think outside of their home fans, there's going to be a lot of people cheering for the Hawaii Capitals tonight. Well, and you have to hand it to the Brookings and the Brookings program. Absolutely. You really do because they have set the bar. They're the team that everybody's chasing. You have to be good enough to beat that team Everybody in the state is chasing Brookings. Hands off to them. They've done it. They've done it. Capitals, Brookings Rangers from the Larson Ice Center, second semifinal coming up next. Starting lineups, opening puck drop. You're listening to the State Tournament on Capital City Rock, KKQQ, and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. The Fieldhouse and Pier is the perfect place to sit back and watch the state hockey tournament with friends and family. The Fieldhouse, with a full bar, gives you that feeling like you're at the game without having to leave town with a selection of your favorite concession-type food. And who doesn't love some pizza? There's free popcorn, peanuts, and Gardettos to complement any of your snack cravings while enjoying the games on one of the many big screen TVs. The Fieldhouse, 2013 East Gate Avenue in Pier. Your place for the game this weekend. Go Caps! Capital City Ford and Pier is your trusted Ford dealership in Pier, and the reason why your loyal customers keep coming back. They offer an extensive new and pre-owned inventory, as well as lease specials and expert auto service. They provide exceptional customer service and are an integral part of their community. Check out their full inventory line at CapitalCityFord.com. That's CapitalCityFord.com. Go Capitals! Venture Communications is excited to be a sponsor for the 2024 Boys and Girls State Hockey Tournaments. Good luck to all our talented players. Venture Communications has deep roots in rural South Dakota. Venture now proudly provides fiber to the home to 100% of our customers, enabling them to enjoy super fast and reliable internet connections. Call us today at 605-852-2224. That's 605-852-2224. Or look us up online at VentureCom.net. Best of luck to all the athletes in the 2024 State Boys and Girls Hockey Tournaments. This winter, sip on a delicious hot cocoa and lose yourself in the grace of a fresh falling snow before you smash that hot mug on the driveway and join First Dakota to bank some noise for winter sports. Stomp for block shots, holler for match ceiling takedowns, and go berserk for a perfect dismount. Let's give the home team all we've got. Bank some noise with us at First Dakota National Bank. Open a new account online today at firstdakota.com, member FDIC. Your home and business are important to you, and you need quality furnace and air conditioning products and service. With a combined 50-plus years of experience, AirTech Heating and Cooling provides you with just that service. Call 945-0160 for sales, service, and installation of furnaces, air conditioning, and heat pumps. AirTech Heating and Cooling features the American Standard products. Sales, installation, and service. You want the best, and that's what you'll find at AirTech Heating and Cooling and Pier. Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff Lathrop of Pier First United Methodist Church and I'd like to invite you to join us in person for worship on Sunday mornings at 8.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. You can also join us on Facebook Live or on KCCR 1240 a.m. or 98.9 FM 
for our Sunday morning broadcast at 11 a.m. Come worship with us at First United Methodist Church, where you will find open hearts, open minds, and open doors. As we welcome you back here, we are getting set to for a puck draw between the UI Capitals and the Brookings Rangers. As the Capitals are on the ice, the Brookings Rangers will make their way out on the ice. It should be a good one, Jim. We're, we're excited be. for this one. Yeah, a lot of excitement around this game, that's for sure. And as the, the videos play, the Capitals videos play, the Brookings student section was booing, the Capitals fans were cheering. Now that the Brookings video is playing, the Capitals fans were booing, and the Brookings Rangers fans and student sections were cheering. So we're, we're excited. Everybody in this building is excited for this matchup. And the Hawaii Capitol fans are, are on our side. And the other side, we're looking all the way across at the Brookings Rangers fans, and uh, it's probably 95% full. And I would say it's about the same for the Oahe Capitals. This and place is going to get loud. Th this place is already loud. And, and we haven't even had Brookings come on the ice. And we have not had our introduction or starting lineups yet. This is going to be a, a great atmosphere tonight on a Saturday night for the state semifinal between Brookings and the Hawaii Capitals. Excited for this game. And the winner takes on Rushmore at three o'clock. The loser will play Sioux Falls at 12 o'clock as the Rangers come on the ice. Here shortly we'll send things over for the introduction of starting lineups. If we can hear the PA over the noise <laughs> of this crowd, because it is a loud, loud environment. Addison Rodding will be in net. Egan Jensen was the first team All-State, but has not played yet in this state tournament. That tells you just how good they, they feel it at one as Rodding, but just how good their two goalies are. That's right. That your first team All-State goalie isn't even, even play. hasn't even played these two games. <laughs> Let's send it over to the introduction of the starting lineups. Schneider, the three forwards. Luke Hockop, 
and Chase Karch, the two defensemen. It is Addison Rodding between the pipes for the Brookings Rangers. Capitals from right to left, the Rangers from left to right. What a crowd here at the Larson Ice Center on a Saturday night. This is going to be fun to see what, who, how this game starts. A championship atmosphere, isn't it, John? Boy, if you told me this was a state championship, I would agree. The way this atmosphere feels right now, I would agree yep. this is a state championship game. You are listening to Casey Sierra FM1, KKQQ Brookings. John McClure alongside Jim Lloyd. We can barely hear ourselves think in this building right now. Opening face-off, we're underway in the state semifinal, and it will be won by the Hawaii Capitals. Aiden Beam will turn with it. He'll play it off the boards, and it'll be taken by Beck and try to go up ahead for Barrett Schweitzer. Chase Karch back in the neutral zone. That is tipped into the Capitals bench, and we will get a whistle with 16.45 to go here in period number one. Look, for each one of these teams to be trying to set the pace, and the pace is going to be going to be high paced, but any type of edge that you can get early on is to your advantage. I think that op that first whistle is in favor of the Capitals to kind of settle everybody down, especially even though it's neutral ice, technically it's still on the road for the Hawaii Capitals. Around the boards it comes. Luke Hahn cop in his own end up for Owen Schneider. What the Rangers do so well is exit the zone so cleanly. Jacob Colley brings it in the offensive end. Coughlin will pinch him to the boards, and the puck will be to the boards. Then Colley gets hit again by Jaron Beck. Puck back behind the net, and around it comes to the far side. Evan Dotson over there, but it's back over for Ren Jacobson. That shot got through. It was tipped, and it went just wide. Played back behind the net for Colley. That centering pass is intercepted by Beck. Bouncing puck comes out of the blue line, and the Capitals will go off for a change. Beck has to stay on the ice as Schneider moves it back in. Schneider with a shot, blocker down by Spencer Anderson. First shot of the game goes to Brookings, and it's a save by Anderson. Come back here to the near side. David Brink with a shot. That's gloved by Anderson, and we get a whistle. It was 15.50 to go. I got my, on my watch, it says the noise is at 95 decibels, and it just at 10 minutes, that can impair some hearing. <laughs> Well, that's, good thing we got the ear, ear muffs on. Well, that's the loudest it has been all weekend. There's been a couple times where it says it hit 90 decibels, but never 95 here in this building yet. It is Dylan Dotson in the corner, trying to turn with it, up the boards, but held in. Jacobson, that shot got through, save made. The rebound was a bouncing puck that never got to the front of the net. Riley Lindstad will glove down a puck. Well, it's going to go past him, and Dotson will exit the zone. Sent right back in. This will be picked back up by Corbin Bistrom. Up ahead here for Dylan Dawson. He'll wait, try to center one across for Keegan Kitts. It'll go down, but not far enough for an icing. David Brink has it, and Brink over on the far side. Lost the puck to Aiden Dozark, who had a hat trick, but he turned it right back over. And it's moved up ahead by Jack Merritt. Merritt moves in. That shot paddled down by Anderson, and the rebound's cleaned away by Jace Anderson. Dozark takes a spill. Capitals have it back in their own blue line. Grayson Hunsley played it back out, and then sent back in by Merritt. And then it'll be played back across to Riley Pfeiffer, although it went off the boards on a bad angle. And it'll be played back by the Capitals on the far side. Flipped out of the zone, and it goes down. Will it go far enough for an icing? They will call an icing with 14.44 to, to go here in the first period. The pace is up there already. And Brookings plays at a, a high pace. Yesterday's game, the Wahi Capitals, I thought, played as fast as they have all year. If they can keep up that pace, they can run with them. Faceoff will come to the right of Anderson. Four shots in favor of Brookings. None for the Capitals yet so far. This will come to the blue line. That's held in by Han Kopp and played around the boards for Collie behind the net. Collie looking to center one, but he'll play to the corner. He is held up a little bit by Bistrom. Make that uh, by Beam and then turn back over. Collie will throw to the corner. And a backhand behind the nets. Pass in front, Collie on his backhand. Shot save made by Anderson. Played back again, Schneider. Back out of the point for Honka. Plays it back far side for Schneider. Capitals defending, Rangers on the attack. Back to the blue line for Honka. He'll play it back down for Schneider. Good stick there from Devin Dotson. Over to the corner is played Beam. Now Jaron Beck. He'll turn with it. He lost the handle of the puck, but he was, he was falling the ice, but it was taken by Andrew Coughlin. He'll send it across for Schweitzer, who knocked it down, and he'll get to the corner behind the net first. Schweitzer looking for a way to center a puck. Schweitzer will circle the wagons. His shot goes wide after it went off the stick. Played back down, back to the corner. 
It'll be played around here for Schweitzer back behind the net and we get a whistle and a penalty coming up. An interference is called against the Capitals and Brookings Rangers will go on the power play. Schweitzer is called for an interference. And with 13.42 to go, it is an early power play opportunity for Brookings. Special teams in these types of games, special teams can mean a lot. Face off to the right of Anderson. It is won by the Rangers. Luke Honkamp, pass here for Lindstad, back to Honkamp, the quarterback of the power play. Now Schneider walks in, shot goes high over Anderson. It is played out of the zone. Capitals had a chance to get Dozar free. Here comes Dozar trying to get free in a breakaway on, a, on the penalty kill, trying to put it in the side of the net, and it'll stop by Rodding. Just a bit too far for Dozark, and now it's Jackson Heller back in on the offensive zone. Capitals had their chance on a penalty kill. There's a shot that's blocked by the stick of Dozark. Off the stick from Owen Schneider. Schneider will get it back. He'll back skate. He'll play it down to the corner for Heller. Back out for Honkamp. Walks in. Shot got blocked or down by Anderson. And it's Heller again on the far side. Trying to get to the front of the net. Blocked again by the Capitals. 108 to go to the power play. Luke Honkamp walks in. Back through Lindstad. His shot. Rebound. That one stopped by Anderson. He got over on the right pad. A huge save for Anderson. Puck is still back behind the net. And now it's taken Jay Harris. As he tried to turn around with it. Couldn't get to the front of the net. And the Capitals will clear it down. Big first stop for Spencer Anderson. He's made six saves, but that's the biggest one of the six right now for the Capitals. 40 seconds to go in the power play. The Rangers move it back in. There's a shot that's blocked. Beck will send it back down the ice with 35 to go. It'll be turned back here for David Brink. Maybe one last rush here for the Rangers on the power play. Cooper Deathridge touches it for Jack Merritt. And as Merritt will bring it into the corner. He'll work around the boards, out to the blue line. Jacobson passes a bad one and is intercepted by Jaron Beck. He'll look to attack shorthanded, but he didn't get it deep in the zone. Down to 10 seconds to go on the power of play. Jacob Colley walks in. His shot was off of a stick, and it goes wide of the net. To be played back to the blue line, where it's going to be held in by Brookings. Heldy is over on the stick of Devin Dotson as he walks in. His shot and a save. Ronnie doesn't know where it's at. It's still loose, and it will finally be covered up. You're oh, right. man. Ronnie made the stop in front of him, but then when he didn't see the puck in front of him, he just went down. And Devin Dotson's going to get a penalty call against him. He's going to get a rugby call against him. As he was in there, he was the one getting shoved out of the way. And he's the one that gets called for the roughing call. So with 11.32 to go, it's the second power play for the Brookings Rangers. Barrett Schweitzer trying to have a conversation with one of the referees. And a face-off is one, Luke Conkop. And he'll move it in on the far side. Behind the net, Honkamp circles around, trying to go back door for Schneider and it misses his stick. This will be tipped out of the zone as Schweitzer will race after it. Honkamp will turn with it, almost lost the puck to Riley Lindstad. And it's now Schweitzer that has to get back and Lindstad will move it in the zone. It is taken free, Jaron Beck will send it all the way back down. Rodding will stop the puck behind the net, goes to the far side corner where Honkamp will pick it up with 125 to go in the power play. Pass will come up here for Schneider. Now up ahead for Lindstadt. Pass goes across. Harris into the zone cleanly. Plays it back for Schneider. Hard around the boards in the corner. Up the boards on the far side. Heller leaves it for Hanka. Walks in. Pass over for Schneider. He continues to walk in the faceoff circle. Trying to center one. Capitals can't clear it. It's taken back by the Rangers. Back to Honkamp with one minute to go to the power play. Honkamp walks in. Now for Lindstad. His shot, and that's kicked away by Anderson in the last second. Might have gone just wide. I think they say it will go just wide. Wasn't a shot on goal, as Honkamp will have it back in the corner with 45 to go on the main advantage. Honkamp walks in. Now for Schneider. His shot was blocked by Beck. Into the corner it comes for Lindstad again. Lindstad back for Schneider. And as Schneider walks in, he comes to the near side, 
His centering pass. It is Anderson that will pick it up, and we get a whistle with 10 minutes to go here in the first period and 29 seconds remaining on the power play. Wahi Capitals able to get in those shooting lanes and block some shots. Faceoff will come to the left of Anderson. It is one here by the Capitals. Corbin Bistrom trying to get that puck out of the zone. It'll be down the ice with 20 seconds to go. Dotson in the box right now for another 15 seconds. Two minutes for a rough. Jacob Law will move it into the zone for the Brookings Rangers. That shot square on Anderson. He'll cover for a whistle with seven seconds to go in the power play. 9.39 to go here in the first period. Still scoreless on the Kubota scoreboard. Important faceoff here. Caps got to win the, win the faceoff to kill this power play. Faceoff again to the left of Anderson. It is one to the corner by the Capitals around the boards. Not out of the zone, held in by Jacobson. Power play, the penalty time runs out as it will be sent back in by Brookings as they will tag back up. And the pass goes across for Dylan Dodson. In Dozark, Dylan Dodson and Keegan Kitts on the ice right now. This will be set down to his touch on the right side of the red line by Colley. So there is no icing on Brookings. 9.13 to go in the first period. And it'll be played up here for Dylan Dodson off the boards. That is out of the blue line and out of the zone. Red Jacobson will send it back in, and Andrew Coughlin will pick it up. Nine minutes to go here in the first period. Still 0-0 on the Kubota scoreboard. Rangers will pick it back up. They will turn it back over the neutral zone. Capitals have to tag up. They do, but it was not taken by Coughlin. And then off the glass by Keller Hermit. And it will play it here for the Rangers. Cooper Deathrich. It will be played up ahead. Aiden Beam on his back in. Just missing for Luke Miller. And then sent back in by Honkamp. And it will be played around. Coughlin will get to it on the far side. Coughlin will turn. He'll flip it high to center ice. Off the boards. It goes down. Chase Karch will get to it. No icing against the Capitals. It is now Anderson that will swing it back around to the near side. And it'll be played back by the Rangers. But they lost the puck as Herman will pass it across over for Grayson Hunsley. He's got time and space. Tipped in by Anderson, Jace Anderson. And into the corner, almost losing the puck was Chase Karch. And it'll be played back over on the far side. Out of the zone, Luke Miller will send it back in. As Luke Honkamp with a pass across for Schneider. Schneider walks it in the zone. Now it's going to be a shot from high. That was blocked. Never got to the net. Corbin Bistrom will play it across. Jay Sanderson from the far side boards. Capitals are in the midst of a change. Stepping off the ice was Keller Herman. On back on the ice was Jaron Beck. Seven and a half to go here in the first period. Corbin Bistrom a pass. Up ahead for Jay Sanderson. He'll send it in from the red line to finish out the change for the Capitals. Around the boards it comes here the near side. And it's going to be picked up. Dodson with the interception. His backhand pass looking for Beck, but that's going to be stolen away by Jacobson, who got back. Jack Merritt lost the puck to Schweitzer. And Barry Schweitzer will swing it in the offensive end. Schweitzer goes around one man to David Brink. Into the corner, fights off a check. Devin Dodson, now it's going to be for Schweitzer again. A shot on and a save made by Ronning. That was a tough angle there by Schweitzer. Held in by Jaron Beck. And it'll be played here on the near side. David Brink. Ren Jacobson. Pass will come up. And it will be taken away by the Rangers. Up into the zone. Dumped in. And a chase after it. Both players will go tumbling to the ice. On the near side. Couldn't catch the number for the Ranger player. Who that might have been. As it was uh, Trey Christ Christofferson. And now as the Rangers are making a change. Capitals are in the midst of a change as well. With 6.20 left to go here in the first period. Beam gets pinned to the boards. Deathridge will pin him there. Beam will get free and then will be played around on the far side. There's a trip against the Rangers and the Capitals will get the power play. It'll be against Jay Harris and the Caps are on their first power play. They have a chance with 6-10 to go in the first period. An opportunity to take the lead. Pelican Power Sports power play. Brookings on aim a look. Capitalize on their two power plays, and we'll see what the Wahi Capitals have in store. 
Capitals yesterday were able to take advantage of that power play as they went one for four, but they've got to be able to take advantage of any power play that they get, including this one right now. Around here to the near side will be Devin Dotson that will play it back for Barry Schweitzer. Aiden Dozark behind the net as Dozark looks to get it free. Rangers over there, Chase Karch. It'll be sent back to Karch. He'll swing it around the boards here the near side. First one to it is Jaron Beck as he tried to play it up the boards, but it's sent down by Brookings. And the Capitals have to regroup. With 1.35 to go here on the power of play. 5.40 remaining on the first period. It is Andrew Coughlin that will stand with it behind the net. He'll move it up the ice. His pass up ahead for Dozart that misses, and that will be an icing with 5.31 to go here in the first period. Still 122 remaining in the power of play. Been a fun game so far. It is. No score, 531 left in this first period. One of those, these two teams are going to play tomorrow at 3 o'clock against the Rushmore Thunder. Aiden Dozark will win the faceoff back. It'll be played around for Andrew Coughlin. Coughlin will leave it back for Jaron Beck with 110 to go in the power of play. Back in the neutral zone, will able to skate his way free in the offensive end. He'll turn back with it for Dozark. He dropped his stick, trying to pick it back up in the crease, and we get a whistle and a crease violation yep. against Dozark. And he had to try and get the stick back, but he had, it, but he had to get it in the crease, and they, they, they call a crease violation. Aiden Dozark in the faceoff. Just outside the Rangers blue line, we get a whistle. One minute to go in the power play. 5-10 remaining here in the first period. It is one back by Dozark. Andrew Coughlin will play to the near side for Devin Dodson. Now a pass goes back for Beck. As he'll walk it into the neutral zone. Trying to carry it in the offensive end. He'll leave it back for Dodson. who will play it around the boards. Beck will get to it. Touches it along. Dozark now. Nobody's in front of the net. Man goes down. Dozark gets taken down behind the net. As it'll be picked back up by Devin Dodson. Devin Dodson will carry it back into the offensive end. With 25 to go on the power play. Backhand shot is staved made by Ronnie. Rangers can't clear it. Schweitzer, he pins his man the boards. Now here is Coughlin. Pass will come across. Now for Dodson, one-timer shot at high. That goes into the netting, and we will get a whistle. And that will come out of the zone as well with 14 seconds to go on the power play. I believe it will go out of the zone. Nope, it's going to be... Yep, no, they, it is. Yep, yep they're they, saying outside of the zone. There's a one-timer that... that went high and it, it did hit, it clipped the glass, but it also got the netting at the same time. 14 seconds remaining on the power play. Beck will win the face off and push it forward. And it'll be sent down the ice, right at the neutral zone, back for Corbin Bistrom. Five seconds remaining on the power play. Bistrom will turn it over. And it'll be sent back in by Brookings as that will take care of the power play. Both teams now 0 for on the power play. Rangers 0 for 2, Capitals 0 for 1. Dotson's able to chip that in the zone. Back from Schweitzer. Devin Dotson trying to center it back for Schweitzer, but couldn't get it to him with 3.55 to go here in the first period. It'll be played up the zone. Will it go far enough for an icing? It will. We get a whistle at 3.48 left to go in the first period. 0-0 zero, zero is the score in this one. It's an up and down, fast paced game. Nobody wants to give. That first mistake, that first goal, will we see it open up or will it be a tight defensive game this entire hockey time, hockey game? Face off is one, trying to turn with it was Kiss, but he couldn't get a shot away. Now it's three on two for the Rangers. But the pass goes behind Christofferson. Bistrom fighting off Christofferson. And Bistrom now will play it back as he gets through two different defenders. Then his pass almost was intercepted. Now it's grabbed by Dylan Dotson. Dylan Dotson is in, that shot goes wide, trying to go around Chase Karch. 3.25 remaining in the first period. As this in the corner, we get a penalty coming up against the Capitals, and it will be against the Wahi. And will it be Keegan Kitts or Aiden Dozark? It is Aiden Dozark with a slash. Or Keegan Kitts with a slash. 
Or it'll be both of them. Nope, just. Oh, just going to be one. Just going to be Keegan Kitts. So it's Kitts with a slash. Yeah, 318 left. Brookings Rangers are going to go on a Pelican Power Sports power play. Able to keep them out of the net. First two power plays was the Capitals. Face off will come to the left of Anderson. Third power play for the Brookings Rangers here in the first period with 3.15 to go. Luke Hotkamp has in the blue line. He walks in. That shot goes off the body. It'll be down taken here back by Jackson Heller. Back to Hotkamp now for Lindstedt. Back Hotkamp again. Blind pass for Schneider. Hit a good stick there from Aiden Beam to block a pass. And it'll be set down by Jared Beck. 135 to go in the power of play. 250 remaining here in the first period. Still scoreless on the Kubota scoreboard. Third power play now for the Brookings Rangers. Owen Schneider carries it in. Plays it back for Jackson Heller. Face off dot, a shot. Save is made, the rebound was loose, and it's sent back down by the Capitals. Caps have done a good job so far of clearing the front of the nets through this first period. One minute to go in the power of play as Lindstad will walk it in, leaves it for Jay Harris. Now back for Hawkeye. One timer by Schneider, and that goes high. 55 seconds to go on the power of play. Brookings still with it. Hawkeye, pass goes across, walked in. Heller, shot save, and it goes to the blue paint, but no one there for the Rangers to stuff in the rebound. Back for Heller again on the far side as that one will go out of the zone. Luke Honkamp will pick it up. Honkamp will wait for everybody to get back on side. He'll walk it back in. Almost lost the puck out of the blue paint. Now it's Schneider with it with 30 to go on the power play. David Brink back for Honkamp. Walks in. Backdoor feed. It's off of a stick and a wide. How did that not go in? <laughs> Went all the way across the blue paint. Right on the red line. It went off of Schneider, off of Anderson, and it went right through the red line. And it didn't go in, and it went wide of the net with nine seconds to go in the power play. Tipped in by the Rangers. As it will be picked up by Schweitzer, and around it comes to the near side, but it's held in by Brink. Capitals have killed it off as Keegan Kitts will come out of the ice to join the play. 1-10 to go here in the first period. It is Jacobson, his shot, save, made, rebound, is turned back inside a couple times, and Anderson makes a huge save. 104 to go in the first period. Spencer Anderson, he's the busiest guy in the building. Whew. This has been a heck of a hockey game, and we've still got a minute left to go in the first period, not even the second or third period, just a minute to go in the first period. The Capitals, after that, uh, they killed that power play, they were late to get on the ice. They still played five on four for quite a while. Face off will be won by the Rangers. Schneider looking like he might have got hooked, but the Capitals will bring it into the offensive end. Dylan Dodson, a pass goes across for Aiden Dozark. Trying to swing it to the front of the net. Goes back to Dozark. He does swing it in front. And he'll come back out. Dylan Dodson. Man goes down. It'll be now taken by Talon Hyde. Two on three come in the Rangers. They'll dump and chase with 38 seconds to go here in the first period. It'll be played to the corner. Out in front, Capitals forgot about Owen Schneider, but thankfully for the Caps, he didn't have it cleanly on his stick. Now on the side of that, trying to stuff it in front. Puck is still loose. Grayson Hudson was able to clear it out of the way, but the Capitals do turn it back over again. Schneider with 20 seconds to go. There's a huge hit, Dylan Dodson, and we're gonna get a penalty on the Capitals. Dylan Dotson's going to get called for the penalty. It'll be touched up with eight seconds to go. It's an elbow against Dylan Dotson. Dylan Dotson gets called for the elbow. He had that elbow up just a little high. And we have loose equipment as we saw a glove go. Hockey headquarters. You can get you a red glove. And I think it's just it was just a two-minute elbow. So it is just a two-minute with no head contact on it. And with 8.3 to go. And Coach Gerstner is trying to get an explanation of maybe why it wasn't a 10-minute misconduct. He's not gonna get 
The He's not going to get an explanation. The referee didn't come over. Wyatt's been trying to tell rookies to hurry up with 8.3 to go. And the Rangers will be kicked down the faceoff dot. Schneider, now here is Jay Harris. It's won by the Capitals. They will send it down, and that will take us to the end of the first period. Everybody, everybody's just walking up the ice <laughs> as we take it to the end of the third pe first period. 12 to 3 in shots in favor of the rookies Rangers, but Spencer Anderson with 12 saves on 12 shots. And it is a 0-0 tie at the end of one. We will step aside. We'll come back and recap the first period. You're listening to the State Tournament on Capital City Rock, and you're watching it on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. For over 100 years, the Watertown Area Chamber of Commerce has been working to make Watertown and the surrounding area one of the best places in the Midwest to live, work, and raise a family. Watertown is one of the most progressive communities in South Dakota. Watertown is moving forward in so many ways, from construction on their new Watertown Community Foundation Plaza in downtown to a state-of-the-art ice arena. Good luck to all state hockey teams and go Lakers! Congratulations to all of the teams on making the state hockey tournament this weekend. Beck Motor Company is proud to support our area youth in their activities. As Central South Dakota's Chevy dealer for the last 55 years, we've worked hard to create a strong team just like you. And we're here for all of your automotive needs. Call us at 605-224-5912 or visit us online at beckmotors.com. Safe travels from everyone at Beck Motor Company of Pier. The lawyers at the May Adam Law Firm in Pierre know how important your families are to you. If you've been putting off getting your affairs in order, know that the May Adam Law Firm is available to counsel you through your questions and help you get the documents in place so that you've made your loved ones secure. Call them at 224-8803 and they can chat with you about how to document your concerns and care for your family. We're all in this together and the May Adam Law Firm is ready and able to help. Hi, Jason here from Leisure Palace Pool, Spa, and Patio. We invite you to come in and see our expanded new location, 400 West Sioux Avenue in Pier. Transform your new space into the best in industry hot spring, caldera, and free flow spas and let the stress melt away. Or maybe it's an infrared sauna. Don't miss out. Also check out our pool tables, darts, fire tables, and outdoor furniture. Visit us today for the perfect blend of relaxation and entertainment. And as always, at the guaranteed lowest price. Dr. Brian Hermanson serves Central South Dakota with specialty root canal treatment. Hermanson Endodontics aims to provide treatment that is not only comfortable, but has a quality first emphasis. We believe that by preserving as much healthy tooth as possible, we can help you retain your natural teeth longer. This is accomplished with state-of-the-art three-dimensional imaging and the dental operating microscope to guide diagnosis and treatment. Ask your dentist if a root canal specialist is right for you. Hermanson Endodontics, 1709 North Lincoln Avenue in Pier. At Kathy Sun and Shine Properties, they know the local market, schools, and communities, both as agents and neighbors. Let well, one of the trusted professionals at Kathy Sun and Shine Properties help you through the buying or selling process. Kathy Sun and Shine Properties has over 50 years of experience helping people successfully buy or sell their homes. If you're in the market to buy or sell, visit contactkathy.com. Go Capitals! We welcome you back. It is the end of the first period, and it is a 0-0 tie on the Kubota scoreboard between the Wyatt Capitals and the Brookings Rangers. John McClure alongside Jim Lloyd. Capitals did a, Spencer Anderson did a great job along with the penalty killers in that first period. They killed off three penalties against the eight seconds so far of the fourth penalty, but Spencer Anderson has made 12 saves on 12 shots, and he has done a remarkable job of limiting rebounds. When he has given the rebounds, the Capitals have been able to clear it out. They've not been able to go on the offensive yet, and they've only got three shots. Credit to the Brookings Rangers for making that happen as well. But it's been a on one side of the ice right now, and Spencer Anderson has had to be the best player on the ice, and he has been the best player on the ice. Yeah, going into this game, that's what you need out of your goalie. You, you, he needs you to keep, keep you in the game, and at a 0-0, he's keeping his team in the game right now. Capitals need to stay out of the box. You can only power kill against the Brookings team so long. They've done a fantastic job, but you can only do it so long. Yeah, they're, they're 0 for 3 right now. Capitals did not uh, take advantage of their 
power of play when Trey, uh, Jay Harris got called for a trip in the first period. Uh, Barry Schweitzer, Devin Dodson, Keegan Kitts, and Dylan Dodson all picked up penalties in that first period. And they've got to be they've got to be better the second period. But those four guys, especially with already a, a penalty in that first period, have to be smart. They can only get three. You got to be you got to be smart the rest of the way. Granted, yes, you still have one more penalty to give before you're out of the game. But but you have to be smart to not pick up a second penalty quickly. And the Capitals, like you said, have to stay in the penalty box in the second period. Yeah. The penal penalties for uh, for the Capitals four four penalties to one against Brookings and uh, yeah you you can't power kill them for very long. The Rangers have had good looks and again we, we talk about the the Capitals playing good defensively. I think the Rangers will say if we keep if we keep getting power plays we're going to score. Our, our power play has not looked bad. It's just you know what when you're sitting at 25 percent that's a great power play. Well that's one for four. And that would be if they do strike on this one, would be one for four. Yep. So you're 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 not yeah, you're frustrated you haven't scored the first three power plays, but I think there's nothing that you want to really change in the power play because they look good, just haven't been able to cash in. Yeah, and the, you know the Brookings Rangers, they're they're also playing good defense in front of uh, Ronnie. You know, giving up three shots. That's that's pretty good. And that's what the Brookings Rangers do. They play really good defense, they protect their goalie. Their goalies don't see a lot of shots. Yeah, and, and those three shots, try to think about, I don't know if any of them were really testing Addison yep. Ronnie. I think they yep. were pretty far out. There wasn't, maybe one of those three shots was a tough shot for Ronnie to face. But, but credit the Rangers defense, what they do so well too, is that they are able to limit your chances and make your shots come from far out. Yep, and the, and the uh, Capitals doing a really good job the Brookings Rangers are always running people into the backside all the time, and the uh, the Hawaii Capitals are finding that person. The Rangers have not been able to make that pass on the backside. It is 0-0 in the Kubota scoreboard at the end of the first period. We'll come back and recap uh, the second day. Start to talk about day number three coming up. We'll have that in the, as our first intermission report continues. You're listening to the state tournament on Capital City Rock, on KKQQ, and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. Hello, hockey fans. First National Bank and Pier is excited to sponsor the 2024 Varsity Hockey State Tournament. Good luck to all the talented players and a special shout out to our hometown team, the Hawaii Capitals. At First National Bank, we're always on your team and ready with the assist to reach your financial goals. Check us out at firstnationalbanks.com or at First National BNK on Facebook. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. If you're looking for excellence in collision and fiberglass repair, look no further than Hunsley Auto Body and Sandblasting at Fort Pier. Hunsley Auto Body strives for excellence in every job they do, and they have 20 years' experience. Fast, thorough, and quality work is their specialty, and they pride themselves on a job well done. No job is too big for Derek Hunsley. Call them today at 605-280-4451 or check out Hunsley Auto Body Repair and Sandblasting on Facebook to see the work he's done. Hunsley Auto Body and Sandblasting, Fort Pier. Weatherall Roofing and Insulation is a family-owned business that has served Central South Dakota for over 25 years. Weatherall Roofing and Insulation specializes in metal roof restorations and flat roof repair. They also offer the highest quality insulation using closed cell polyurethane foam and blow-in fiberglass. For all your roofing or insulation needs, make Weatherall your first choice. And remember, just foam it. Wagner Auto Company is your complete transportation headquarters. Now is the time to order your new Buick, GMC, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles. Plus, a good selection of quality pre-owned and certified pre-owned vehicles. They'll take care of you after the sale with a full-service parts and auto body shop with trained technicians. Along with a friendly financing team that'll work with you to find the best deal and one that'll fit your budget. Wagner Auto is your local full-service family-owned dealership for over 115 years. WagnerAuto.com. That's WagnerAuto.com.
When you're in the need for high-quality replacement auto parts, look no further than Xander Auto Parts and Machine Shop in Pier. Xander's has been servicing the Pier area for over 40 years. Their professional parts techs can get you the parts you need and get you back on the road. Stop by Xander Auto Parts and Machine Shop at 500 West Sioux and Pier or call 224-9221. Xander's, your source for domestic and foreign auto parts and accessories. And we welcome you back here as is the first submission report continuing. And it is a 0-0 tie between the UI Capitals and the Brookings Rangers. As we look at our day today, the Mitchell Marlins beat Aberdeen the 7th seed over the 6th seed earlier today, 5-3. So they advance the Constellation Championship. Well, they will take on the Sioux Falls East Flyers, who beat Watertown 5-4 after being down 4 nothing. They come all the way back and win 5-4 to four to advance to tomorrow morning's Constellation Championship with a 9 a.m. puck drop. As we'll have, again, have all, all 11 games of the state tournament. We've got the last three games here on Capital City Rock, KKQQ, and on YouTube at K Capital City Rock Sports. Rushmore Thunder, they shut out Sioux Falls West 5-0 in the semifinal to advance to tomorrow's championship at 3 o'clock. Sioux Falls West plays at noon in the third place game. The winner will take on Rushmore the championship. The loser will play Sioux Falls West in the third place game. So the Constellation Championship between Sioux Falls East and Mitchell at 9 a.m. The third place game against the loser of Brookings Oahe versus Sioux Falls West at noon. And the championship of the winner of Brookings Oahe versus Rushmore at 3 o'clock. All three games here on Capital City Rock, KKQQ, and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. It's hard to believe. We're, we're getting close uh, to the end of this tournament already. How does it happen? It we goes, say at every tournament that we do, all of a sudden, here you are. The stage is about set for, for Sunday and uh, three games. Three games to go. Yep. Uh, we'll, three games in two periods. We'll be on game number 20 tomorrow. We're <laughs> on game 19 of 22 of the full weekend of uh, two weekends of state hockey. Real quick, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. For both these teams, you can choose whoever you want to go with first, what these teams need to do, who, what they need to do to pick, take a lead. Well, he Capitals, number one, you have to kill this one off, but they have to find a way to get some shots on goal. Three shots a period is not going to cut it. And play defense against, against Rushmore. Watch those cutters coming in as they have done. Well, I think Capitals have actually been playing really well. They've been playing well. Well, the Rangers, what they need to do to take the lead? Going to have to keep... Keep pushing into the net. You know, the, 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 the Rangers are going to take any any mistake that's made, take advantage of it. 0-0 zero, zero at the end of one. Back with the second period after this here on Capital City Rock, KKQQ, and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. Pier Regional Airports meets the aviation-related needs of South Dakota's state capital, its residents, and the businesses of Central South Dakota. Pier Regional Airport is a city-owned public airport that can fly out to any destination that Delta, American Airlines, and United fly seven days a week. So, while you're looking to travel by air, enjoy the convenience of flying out of Pier, where parking is always free. Skip the drive and fly from PIR. Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff Lathrop of Pier First United Methodist Church, and I'd like to invite you to join us in person for worship on Sunday mornings at 8.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. You can also join us on Facebook Live or on KCCR 1240 a.m. or 98.9 f.m. for our Sunday morning broadcast at 11 a.m. Come worship with us at First United Methodist Church where you will find open hearts, open minds, and open doors. AGE Corporation has been building South Dakota for nearly 60 years. For all your site work, construction, and crane needs, AGE is there for you. If you need a boat dock and dock lighting, AGE has what you need. Visit their website, agecorp.com, or give them a call at 223-2732. AGE Corporation, providing high-quality services without sacrificing safety. Visit agecorp.com or call 223-2732. 
Converting Electric has a long history of doing electrical work the right way. Economical service, professional work, and customer satisfaction is why they can say that. Converting Electric can do residential, farm, and commercial projects. Doesn't matter if they are charged with new construction or a remodel project, they get it conducted. Contact the staff at Ferning Electric at 224-8684. They can light a spark into your next project. Ferning Electric, 224-8684. If you're looking for a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV, you'll find it at Capital City Toyota in Pier. We know you're well-educated when researching your next vehicle. Capital City Toyota has made it easy to get all the available vehicle information so you can spend less time researching and more time enjoying your new purchase. As a premier Toyota dealer, they have a huge selection of new and used vehicles to choose from. To see their full vehicle lineup, visit their website, CapitalCityToyota.com. Congratulations to all state hockey teams. We are set for the second period as the Y Capitals and the Brookings Rangers from the Larson Ice Center. It is the Rangers who have a minute and 52 seconds of their fourth power play to start this second period as they are out shooting the Capitals 12 to three at the end of one. The winner to the state championship tomorrow against the Rushmore Thunder at three o'clock. Losers still have one more game to play in the third place game at noon against Sioux Falls West. We are set for the second period. Aiden Dozar will take the opening face off against Jay Harris. We start five on fourth. The Pelican Power Sports power play for the Brookings Rangers. And blowing a tire at the blue line was Jay Harris. And he also took out his teammate Owen Schneider. But into the zone come the Make that Jackson Heller. Jay Harris does come in the zone now, but to be sent down by the Capitals and a good early clear for the Caps on the first real rush of the Rangers. Luke Hockup, as it'll be taken here by Owen Schneider. It'll be taken by Riley Lindstad. The pass will go across and into the zone here by the Rangers. Jay Harris lost the puck. It'll be played back behind the net. Two Ranger players there, but Dozark will swing it out of the zone and all the way down with a minute and seven seconds to go on the power play. And it'll be played back across to the far side. It'll be sent back down again by the Capitals with 55 seconds to go in the second period. Luke Conca behind the nets. It'll be played here to the near side for Jack Merritt. Merritt will move it in the offensive end. 44 to go on the power play. He'll stop below the faceoff circle. Now back for Jacobson. Across it comes. There's a shot that goes wide. And it'll come back for Jacobson here on the near side. Back across the blue line. Another shot up high. That's caught by Anderson. It was juggled and caught with 15.37 to go. That was a period. juggle. When I looked over, the puck was midair right in front of him. And he just swiped that glove up. And with 30 seconds to go on the power play, the Rangers will get an offensive zone faceoff to the left of Spencer Anderson. It is won by the Capitals, but not cleared out of the zone. David Brink, blue line pass for Jacobson. His shot got through, rebound is loose, and it's still gonna be taken by the Capitals as the Rangers had a good look again as Devin Dotson will attack shorthanded. He'll get to the corner with 12 seconds to go on the power play. He's gonna race back up the ice as the Capitals are trying to kill off the fourth one against them as it's moved in. Backhander to the net is blocked and that will do it for the power play. Jaron Beck will turn back with it as he will look up the ice. Pass goes up ahead. It was tipped, slowed up to Devin Dotson. He will push it in the zone. Barrett Schweitzer back on the ice as well for the Capitals now. Jaron Beck digs it out from the blue line but it is played here, Jacobson around the boards of the far side, held in by Aiden Beam on his backhand, can't hold the zone. Jaron Beck will play it into his teammate Devin Dotson, which is gonna be cause for an offside with 14.44 to go here in the second period. Hawaii Capitals killing off four power plays from the Brookings Rangers. I don't think there's many teams in the league that can say they've done that. Faceoff will be just outside the Brookings blue line. And it'll be Taken back in the zone. Dylan Dotson trying to chop at it. Keegan Kitts will work it around the boards for Aiden Dozark. Had a hat trick yesterday. That one trying to center one from Dozark. Comes out in front, but no one there for the Capitals. Sticked away, then did taken back by the Caps again. And around it comes to the near side. Here to the long change, and the Capitals can try and hem in the Rangers. It's not a lot easier said than done. 
to try and hem in the Rangers in their own defensive end. This will be Dozart that will pick it back up, send it over to Ronnie, and he'll stick that in the netting. We get a whistle with 14-10 to go here in the second period. Capitals doing exactly what they need to do at every stage thus far. Brookings Rangers keeping the pressure on at all parts of the rink as they do so well. Face off to the right of Ronnie. And now we get a whistle with Keegan Kitts along with, I believe, Honkop over there, both moving in too quickly. Dozark with the faceoff back, shot by Beestrom. That goes wide of the net. Goes back here to the near side, swept back in front of the net by Dylan Dotson, but no one there for the Capitals. Kitts will hold it in the zone, though. Aiden Dozark behind the net, Dylan Dotson. Couple of players, one player falls down for Brookings. Dotson trying to center one back out. Hudsley shot and a save made as Ronnie came out for the blue paint. I believe he got a piece of it as he'll be sent back in by the Capitals. Good offensive zone pressure. The Capitals fans that are around us right now cheering on the Caps for that sustained pressure. Here is Dozark losing the puck. There's a shot that's blocked. Back again. Dozark though lost the puck. Now the Rangers can go three on two if they hurry, but it will be two on two in the zone. Moving in, Jay Harris with a shot up high, and around it comes to the near side, and we get the net off its moorings, and a whistle that will leave the face off in the offensive zone for Brookings. Brookings Rangers getting stuck in their defensive zone for a long time. Face off will be to the right of Anderson. That, that doesn't happen very often. It doesn't. We, we might see that tomorrow, regardless if they play Rush or Sioux Falls West, but there's very few teams that can do that. There's a shot that's tipped, and the rebound, Anderson was tracking it, and it never got back to the net. Out of the zone, back by the Brookings Rangers, and it'll be played back to the Capitals' blue line, where it's Jack Merritt, who will play it with a, nope, it was touched first by Riley Pfeiffer, so it will be now back in the zone by the Rangers. Aiden B will leave it for Andrew Coughlin. And now Coughlin, who almost lost the puck, but he'll clear the zone. Back for Keller Herman, trying to go across for Jace Anderson. And it'll be played out of the zone. Pfeiffer will move it back in. Capitals will go off for a change as Anderson and Christofferson run into each other, away from the puck, and a good stick there by Coughlin. A back hander comes back out of the zone. It'll be played back around. Coughlin now with it. This will be sent back here to the near side. As Anderson will come off the ice, Capitals make that complete change and bring out the Schweitzer, Dotson, and Beck line. This will be sent in by the Rangers with 12-11, 12-15 to go here in the second period. Devin Dotson played up the boards but not out. Held in, a shot that goes wide to Spencer Anderson. It'll be Barry Schweitzer now that will move it up into the neutral zone. Schweitzer will dump it in. Goes around the boards. Jaron Beck will be the first one to it as he'll protect the puck. Looking to center for Dodson. A one-timer to save made by Ronnie. Pass goes back over. Hudson will play it back to the corner. Missed for Jaron Beck. And there's your first great save by Addison Ronnie in this hockey game. He's made five saves on five shots. Going to be moved in by Jay Harris. This will be played over. Devin Dodson. Back out to the blue line, Honkamp will hold it in, pass comes over, Schneider walks in, that shot goes off the body and into the netting. We get a whistle to 11.27 to go here in the second period. Score holding at 0-0, how long can it last? Somebody's gonna score before this thing is over. We gotta have a goal somewhere. <laughs> yep. Somebody's gotta score somewhere. But until then, we're gonna enjoy a 0-0 hockey game. Enjoy. There's not a whole lot of 0-0 hockey games that you can say has been fantastic. This one is one of them. Into the corner it is. Now taken back. Aiden Dozark will flip it off the glass. Comes out of the zone. Back in the Rangers have to tag back up. Dozark will pass. Comes back. Goes back over to Dozark. Capitals and almost turn it back over. Grayson Hudson will play it up. Capitals fans yell but no call. And it will be Talon Hyde pushing Dozark back into the boards. There's been a battle between Dozark and Hyde on that far side corner. A couple different times. Now it's going to be a shot and a save made. Anderson didn't know where that shot was at. Rebound chance for Schneider. Couple of chances. There's a shot that goes wide and it's picked back up by Devin Dotson. Can the Capitals move up the ice? Dylan Dotson it is. Dylan Dotson trying to get free for a short and free forehand shot and it was sticked away by the Rangers and no chance. 
Dylan Dawson leading in on Schneider. It'll be picked back up by Luke Honkop. Luke Miller now over there. That centering pass, it goes off the stick of Ronnie, and it'll be played back over, and into the corner it comes. Honkop will play it back over for Karch. Jace Anderson tracking it as well. It'll be back to the blue line, where it's gonna be out of the zone, and Aiden Beam will send it back in. And it was okay. The referee had his hand up for a offside, but the play by the goalie, the long play continued. Jace Anderson with a shot, and Ronning makes the save. Tough angle for Anderson. And if Ronning had moved even a little nope. bit, it could have been disastrous for Brookings. And he he didn't have his pad squared up to that shot. Now, I think it was in between his, his one pad. 9.58 to go here in the second period. Still 0-0 on the Kubota scoreboard. As we play here in the second. This will be out of the zone. Jacob Colley racing after it. It is still loose. Colley trying to come away with it. Tries to center one. And the net is off its moorings. Anderson was hugging that post tight. And he pushed it off the moorings so we get a whistle with 9.45 to go in the second. Enjoy 0-0. 9.45 left in the second period. <laughs> State semifinal game, winner to the championship to take on the Rushmore Thunder. Look at this crowd. This is a fantastic crowd. Place is full. Standing room. This will be back to the blue line. Jacobson with a shot that goes wide. Missed everybody. It'll come out of the zone. David Brink will get it back in the neutral zone. And he loses it to Keller Herman. Herman moves in two on one. His shot, he scores! <laughs> Keller Herman! It's one nothing Capitals! With 9.32 to go in the second. Three goals all season for Herman. He makes it one nothing. And the capital strike first. And that's a big goal, momentum-wise. To score that first one, we enjoyed 0-0, zero zero, but we enjoy 1-0 games also. An unassisted goal for Keller Herman. And we have broken our scoreless tie. It'll be sent in around. As Riley Lindstad will play it over. It is Devin, make that Corbin Bistrup. It'll be Barry Schweitzer trying to move into the zone. He is taken down, swung back into the zone. Schweitzer's gonna get back on his skates. This will be played back across and out of the zone. Delayed offside for Brookings. They'll have to tag back up. 8.55 to go in the first, second period. Capitals have a one nothing lead. They did strike first against Brookings back in the regular season here in Brookings before the Rangers end up winning a 4-1 game. Mostly a 3-1 game with an empty net goal. Eric Schweitzer moves it back in and Jaron Beck on the back end. We'll send it back behind the net. It'll be back, taken back by Barrett Schweitzer. Pass comes across, that's intercepted and now Schneider moving free in the neutral zone. He gets shoved off the puck but Schneider will pick it back up. His shot right in the glove of Spencer Anderson. And a whistle with one, 8.26 to go here in the second period. Next couple minutes are key. The Cowboys can keep this a one nothing game. They've got a lot more momentum. The Rangers tie it back up. They swing the momentum right back in their favor. And Spencer Anderson has seen a lot of really good shots, and he's been up to the task today. He's playing a great game. 8.26 to go here in the second. A shot by Brink and a save made by Anderson. The other thing for Anderson, too, he's had really good positioning he so has. far in this game. Yep, those position saves are a must. Those he, are the positioning that you practice all the time. You may not see the puck, but if you're in the spot, that puck will hit you if you're out far enough and you got your good self in good position. Here is Jacobson on the far side. It'll be shot towards the net. It's loose in front and it goes just wide by Jackson Heller. Out of the zone by the Capitals, Aiden Dozart. He'll move it back in. Sent around the boards and back in. And David Brink will send it up. It'll be out of the zone to be taken. Back here by Jay Harris. His shot blocker down, bouncing puck. It'll be swung back around by Jack Merritt. In front, Merritt! He couldn't get a one-timer. He, he got twist and turn trying to get that pass. The Capitals forgot about Merritt coming back to the front of the net on a give and go. Merritt 
will pass it back over. Kevin's got lucky on that one. Dylan that Dodson very, making a great defensive play. Now here is Dylan Dodson back in the offensive zone. Two on two moving in with Aiden Beam. Dodson then trying to pick himself, trying to turn around, but he lost the puck. He was able to put it to the corner, though, to at least give the Capitals a chance to get back offensively. Now Keller Herman will take a penalty as the Capitals will have to go back on the penalty kill. Trey Krukot, Trey Christofferson, as Herman, that will go to the box for a slash. So the goal scorer will end up in the penalty box with 7.04 to go here in the second period. And it'll be the fifth power play now for the Brookings Rangers here trying to tie it up. Face off will come to the left of Spencer Anderson. Jay Harris, I believe, is the one to take the face off. It is won by Harris. Back out for Honkamp at the point. He'll walk all the way in, and then he'll play it back down in the corner. Now for Heller. Back out to Honkamp in the blue line. Pass goes across. Right back to Honkamp. Walks in. Waiting for the shot. Got one through. But Anderson makes the save. Back to Honkamp again. Down to the near side. Looking for a little bumper play. Back out for Honkamp. Swords one around. Anderson. It's goal. Riley Lindstadt ties it up with a power play. And it's one to one with 6.36 to go in the second. That's Honkamp to Lindstedt. And listen to this place. We, we don't get the crowd mic turned up <laughs> for either side when they score their goals. This place is erupting. One to one. 6.36 left in this second period. So 1-1 one, one our score, the Kubota scoreboard. The power play goal for Riley Lindstad. And this will be iced by the Brookings Rangers. It took them five power plays to score on one. The Brookings Rangers finally found one. Honkamp will get the only, only assist on Lindstedt that goal. To Honkamp, or Honkamp to Lindstedt. Offensive zone face off to the left of Addison Ronick. We are tied one to one. We'll now see how much this opens up. Now, that both teams have scored. Devin Dawson swings one in through the legs and they got Ronick on the pad. That was a sniping shot from Devin Dodson. That was picked back up by Devin Dodson. Trying to spring one free for Barry Schweitzer, but it will go too far for an icing. And we get a whistle with 6.15 to go here in the second period. Offensive faceoff coming here for the Brookings Rangers. Everybody take a deep breath. The Capitals were kind of holding their breath a little bit. The Rangers were too. And hold on to your hat. And a 1-1 one, one tie. <laughs> We all take a deep breath with it tied up at one. Honkamp on the blue line. It is Schneider over for Honkamp again. Played back to Schneider. This is a five on five play. Schneider with it. Gets back to the blue line. His pass will go across over. As he'll be played back down behind the net. Around it comes here for Schneider. Back out to Honkamp. Honkamp will try to play it back down in the corner. It is there for the Rangers. Schneider plays one up in front off the pads. It came in front, and now it's taken back by Jaron Beck. And Beck will carry it in the zone three on three. Shoots that one on. Roddy made the same rebound. It's behind Roddy, and it does not go in. My goodness. That puck got behind Roddy, and it was moving ever so slowly to the red line. And I know I'm trying to find the number. It's Somebody hard. saved a goal for the Brookings Rangers, and we're going to get his number as he comes off. I believe off. it's Chase Karch. Karch was able to knock the puck away at the red line, no, so it didn't go in. No doubt about it. He saved a goal for running, and that puck went through the pads and just barely moving into the goal, and everybody crashed. Not before Karch got it out back out of that seam. I don't know how close it can get. And Coach Steele asking for an explanation here. Maybe he thought it was in from his angle. The faceoff will stay to the right of Ronning. Boy, oh boy. Inches away for a 2-1 game. You can see that puck sneak out. And Karch was able to dive back. Playoff hockey at its finest. 
This will be coming out of the zone by the Brookings Rangers with 5.23 to go here in the second period. This will be played back out by the Capitals. Sent back in by the Rangers. They will tag back up. And Corbin Bistrom now will play. Bistrom here to the near side for Jaron Beck. Beck will pass it, looking for Devin Dotson. Intercepted by Ren Jacobson. Capitals have to tag back up. They will circle around the blue line as it's sent back in with five minutes to go here in the second period. Back behind the net, Barrett Schweitzer almost took the puck away. So did Devin Dotson, but it's Ren Jacobson that will play it up, and it's intercepted by Schweitzer, and he runs into Jack Merritt, and it'll be played back out of the zone. Racing in is Jacobson. Corbin Bistrom, as a man falls down for Brookings, Bistrom's able to take the puck away and clear the zone. Back for Luke Hockop. And Hockop will bring it in. That was blocked by Bistrom back out of the zone as Dylan Dotson bring, comes back in. And it will be taken back at the blue or at the far side boards. Four players will battle for it. And now we get a whistle. And it might be stuck somewhere inside the jersey of Grayson Huntley. Yep, I, I think it is. There he goes. It falls out of the breezers. <laughs> That's why they were pushing. Everybody pushing for the puck. And the puck wasn't even on the ice. For, for, yeah, you're trying to figure out where it's at <laughs> on your feet. They can't find it. Eventually, the referee realized that there was no puck. 4.19 to go here in the second period. Face-off will be won by the Rangers. Walked in. Well, behind the net now for Karch. He'll pass it back out for Honkop. Back down for Karch. The defenseman moving in, trying to get that give and go. But it will be intercepted by the Capitals, and Andrew Coughlin will send it out of the zone, looking for Keegan Kitts. Back for Dozark, who will play it all the way back to the Capitals corner. 3.55 to go here in the second period. Dylan Dodson, he gets taken out behind the play. Ranger player throws another Capital on the boards, and everybody gets back up off the ice. Be sent back in. Well, it was close to being maybe icing by the Rangers, but might have been touched by the Capitals. And around it comes with 3.38 left to go here in the second period. Dylan Dotson makes a move around uh, Luke Honkop. Dylan Dotson moves in. Honkop, somebody lost their stick. It's going to be Talon Hyde. Hockey headquarters loose equipment with 3.25 to go in the second period. Still 1-1 one to -one in the Kubota scoreboard. This will be set up, but not out of the zone. Andrew Coughlin now will turn with it with 3.15 to go. This will be up the boards, out of the zone, in the neutral zone to be picked up by Jace Anderson. But the Capitals are offside, and we get a whistle with 3.09 to go here in the second period. You are listening to Casey Sierra FM Blunt, as well as also KKQQ Brookings. Thanks for taking us along on this one. This is fun, fun bringing it to you. And any corner of the world where you may be listening from. Yeah, the referee's got to get will. the right people back on the ice out of the bench Hunsley, for the Capitals. Yeah, Hunsley and Bistrom are too late coming on the ice. So they sent Beam and Coughlin back out of the, off the ice. Bistrom will step on quickly for Coughlin. And the Rangers will tap it in deep with three minutes to go. Actually, it will be an icing with 3.01 to go. Keller Herman got the first goal, an unassisted goal. As he took the puck away, came in two on one and beat Ronning up high. And then Riley Lindstad, the power play, was able to get a shot from the far faceoff dot through Spencer Anderson to tie the game up at one to one. Luke Honkamp had the lone assist. That was a power play goal. As the Rangers are one for five on the power play. Grayson Husley all the way through. That one's off of Roddy. And it goes into the netting, and we get a whistle with 2.56 to go. And the faceoff will stay to the left of Rodding in the offensive zone for the Capitals. Keller Herman will take the faceoff again. It will be won by the Rangers. David Brink around the boards, up for Jackson Heller. They exit the zone cleanly again to the Rangers. It's to be taken back though by Herman in the neutral zone, played off the boards and up, but not out, or, but not to deep into the zone for the Rangers. It's intercepted by Corbin Bistrom. Goes back for Bistrom, who will glove it into the zone. And then he stands up a check from David Brink. And then Jay Sanderson trying to put a hit on, and will come back here to the near side, where it's sent back in by Grayson Hunsley with 2.25 to go here in the second period. This will be played around. That pass almost intercepted. Anderson shot it high, and it goes to the netting. It was tipped, so it'll stay in the zone. That was intercepted, and Anderson got a, Jay Sanderson got a really good look. 
but couldn't put it in. Ronnie was just a little bit out of position. Somebody got a stick on that one, maybe so save the goal. 2.18 to go here in the second period. We are still tied one to one on the Kubota scoreboard. One by Jaron back on the faceoff. Andrew Coughlin will put it in the corner. Around the boards, behind the nets. Luke Honkamp chops at it, comes up the near side. Held in by the Capitals and back. Devin Dotson had knocked off a hit stick on the back end. As Andrew Coughlin will send it back in deep cross corner dump. Honkamp to it first. Played it off the glass, back out. Aiden Beam will send it back in with 150 to go here in the second period. This will be taken here by Honkamp. Pass goes across for Jacob Law. And as Law moves in, trying to get a centering pass for Heller, this will be moved up into the netting. We get another whistle with 1.45 to go here in the second period. One forty-five to go in period number two. One-to-one -one our score on the Kubota scoreboard. Face off is won by the Capitals. Hard around the boards on the near side. Chipped out of the zone by Devin Dodson. Sent back in by Brookings with 1.35 to go in the second period. Andrew Coughlin, he will stop and start and play it around the boards here on the near side. Jaron Beck, he'll move it back up and it'll be played over as Coughlin now will move it back up. Beck again, that's intercepted. Rangers back in on side, but a good stick there by Coughlin to get out of the zone. Chips it over the top of Chase Karch, but then the puck will be kicked back towards the capital side of the ice with 108 left to go. Coughlin was able to seal off his man. Puck gets back taken by Harris. Centering pass is broken up by Beck with one minute to go here in the second period. Coughlin will pin his man to the boards. And now it's Schweitzer. The Capitals can go three on three. Up ahead for Beck, but too far for him. And he'll be taken back by the Rangers with 48 seconds to go. Last minute of the second period is a big one as it's moved in by Owen Schneider. Schneider in the back end comes in front and it goes just wide. And we will get a whistle with an end off its moorings with 40 seconds to go. Two Brookings players going right into the net. That's what you call crashing the net. Crashing the net or crashing Cra into the net? Well, when they tell you, you know, <laughs> go down, you got to crash the crash net. Crash the net. Well, that's what they did. Two Brookings players, full steam, went right over the top of Anderson. 20 saves for Spencer Anderson. Nine saves for Addison Roddick. Both allowed a goal each. And it's one to one the Kubota scoreboard. With 40, exactly 40 seconds to go. Face off will be to the right of Anderson. It is won by the Capitals. Trying to maybe survive this second period a little bit more than Brookings is, unless they can go down the other end of the ice. 30 seconds to go here in the second. Corbin Bistrom will fish it over. It was touched by the high stick of Hunsley. And it'll get another stoppage. And it'll be as is played by a high stick. And with 25 seconds to go, and the Capitals are just trying to finish out this second period. Gigan Kitts, Grayson Hudson come off the ice as Jaron Beck will come out defensively with Dozark and Dylan Dotson. And we get a false start on the Capitals. Dylan Dodson trying to go up the ice. 24.6 to go. Face off is one back by the Rangers. Played here to the near side. Bouncing puck made to the far side. Now picked up by the Capitals. Sent out of the zone with 13 seconds to go. Jacobson will pass it back over for Colley. In with 10 seconds remaining. Coughlin high off the glass. Bouncing puck. Good backspin on it with five seconds to go. That will take us to the end of the second period. And we are tied one to one at the end of two. So we will play one period. We need one winner in the next period, whether it be the third or extended out. 21 to 10 in shots. Second period, the same as the first. Tied up, one, going into the locker room. 1-1 one, one at the end of two. We'll come back with a second intermission report after this. You're listening to the State Tournament on Capital City Rack. KKQQ and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. So surprising. So much fun for everyone. So not what you expected. 
So much more to explore. So much to see, hear, smell, taste, enjoy. So out there, yet so close. So pack your bags, fill the tank, grab the kids, tell the dog. What are you waiting for? There's so much Brookings, so little time. If you're looking for a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV, you'll find it at Capital City Toyota in Pierre. We know you're well-educated when researching your next vehicle. Capital City Toyota has made it easy to get all the available vehicle information so you can spend less time researching and more time enjoying your new purchase. As a premier Toyota dealer, they have a huge selection of new and used vehicles to choose from. To see their full vehicle lineup, visit their website, CapitalCityToyota.com. Congratulations to all state hockey teams. Ferding Electric has a long history of doing electrical work the right way. Economical service, professional work, and customer satisfaction is why they can say that. Ferding Electric can do residential, farm, and commercial projects. Doesn't matter if they are charged with new construction or a remodel project, they get it conducted. Contact the staff at Ferding Electric at 224-8684. They can light a spark into your next project. Burning Electric, 224-8684. Venture Communications is excited to be a sponsor for the 2024 Boys and Girls State Hockey Tournaments. Good luck to all our talented players. Venture Communications has deep roots in rural South Dakota. Venture now proudly provides fiber to the home to 100% of our customers, enabling them to enjoy super fast and reliable internet connections. Call us today at 605-852-2224. That's 605-852-2224. Or look us up online at VentureCom.net. Best of luck to all the athletes in the 2024 State Boys and Girls Hockey Tournaments. If you're looking for excellence in collision and fiberglass repair, look no further than Hunsley Auto Body and Sandblasting at Fort Pier. Hunsley Auto Body strives for excellence in every job they do, and they have 20 years' experience. Fast, thorough, and quality work is their specialty, and they pride themselves on a job well done. No job is too big for Derek Hunsley. Call them today at 605-280-4451 or check out Hunsley Auto Body Repair and Sandblasting on Facebook to see the work he's done. Hunsley Auto Body and Sandblasting, Fort Pier. Your home and business are important to you and you need quality furnace and air conditioning products and service. With a combined 50 plus years of experience, AirTech Heating and Cooling provides you with just that service. Call 945-0160 for sales, service, and installation of furnaces, air conditioning, and heat pumps. AirTech Heating and Cooling features the American Standard products. Sales, installation, and service. You want the best and that's what you'll find at AirTech Heating and Cooling and Pier. Well, we have played two periods, and we do not have a leader yet. The White Capitals did have the lead. Killer Herman scored the first goal of the game with 9.32 to go in the second period, unassisted goal. But Riley Lindstad connected on the power play from Luke Hanka at 6.36. And Oahe and Brookings, we are tied 1-1 one to -one at the end of two periods. And, Jim, I don't know if you can ask for a better state semifinal game through two periods than what we have right now. Boy, it feels like championship hockey, doesn't doesn't it? I, you know, and, and I think the Rushmore Thunder are probably sitting there licking their chops. Not because <laughs> they want to play the Rookings or the Capitals, they're going to play whoever. But while Rushmore was in a high intensity and emotional game, it wasn't as, as intense as this yep. game is. How and, much energy do these two teams have to expend to beat one another. Rushmore saying this could be the score for the next five periods. Yep. And, and they'll take it. It doesn't matter. Then they say, who, who cares who wins that game? Because they're going to be way too tired tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock when they play the state championship. But this is everything that you, you that we, that you talk about. Whether it ends up being a one-goal hockey game, whether a team wins by two or three goals at the end of, end of this game, 1-1 one, one after two, going into the third period of the final state semifinal game, I think we could only talk about that being a, the case and not actually think we we're going to get the case like this. Yeah, these games like this, they're going to be determined five by one or two plays, really. I mean, when, it's, when it comes down to this close, it could be a bouncing puck. It could be a, a transition turnover. It, it's going to be one or two plays, these, these close games like this. You, you think about a couple of times in that one play, with the puck behind Addison Ronning going yes. to the empty net, and it was uh, Chase Karch that swiped it away. That's one play that sticks out. Yep. That if, if the game goes through the Brookings Rangers' favor, that's a play that doesn't involve anything other than what we remember, and a huge defensive play by Chase Karch. Yeah, and, and also in games like this, 
A little luck doesn't hurt once in a while. No, the, 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 the puck falls in funny ways. And, and there could be a little luck involved in this. Well, and Spencer Anderson so far, 20 saves on 21 shots. He's he's been very, very good. He's had a couple of a couple of plays where he didn't see the puck, but he was in good positioning, make the stop, and the Capitals have been good in front of the net, clearing out any rebounds. As in Roddy hasn't been tested as much, but he made a couple of big saves. He only had three saves in the first period. He saw seven shots in the second. But of those six saves that he made, I would say about three of them were really big saves to have. And he's been tested in this game, and he's proven to be a good goalie in this hockey game. Absolutely, but you have to have to hand it to the defense of the Brookings Rangers. They just don't allow a lot of shots. They don't. You're lucky to get two or in ten shots. Uh, you're you're lucky to have three or four good shots. You just don't get a lot of good looks. And the fact that it's one to one right now, I think the Capitals are in the locker room feeling like I wouldn't say they have the lead because they know they nope. need to go get the lead. But the Capitals are feeling in a very good spot. It is a one one hockey game. And I think that helps the Capitals more than it helps the Brookings Rangers through two periods. When you look at the Rangers at 21 and one, they've had some tough tests, but there hasn't been a whole lot of games that have been close down the stretch. Capitals have played in an overtime loss. They've had a tie. They've not won a game in overtime, but they've won games late, late in a third period. They've played a lot of close games late in a third period. They, they feel like maybe they can play in a closer game maybe than the Brookies Rangers. Absolutely. The Capitals right now are giving themselves a chance to win. And as long as this game goes at a one-to-one, -one, they have a chance to win the game. I, you know, the, the graph of the win percentage at one to one I think it's as it longer it stays one to one I still think it tilts down in the Hawaii Capitals favor yep. if, if it's two to one at any point in the third period that graph goes shoots way up for the Brookings Rangers because then they just got to clamp down defensively and that's it's going to be hard to come back in the third period against the Rangers yeah. and you have to you have to keep it within one one shot either way because either one of these teams going up by two it's going to be pretty tough these two goalies they're not going to give up two back to back very often one to one at the end of two we will step aside and come back with the, more of the second emission report. You're listening to the State Tournament on Capital City Rock on KKQQ, and you're watching it on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. Dr. Brian Hermanson serves Central South Dakota with specialty root canal treatment. Hermanson Endodontics aims to provide treatment that is not only comfortable, but has a quality first emphasis. We believe that by preserving as much healthy tooth as possible, we can help you retain your natural teeth longer. This is accomplished with state-of-the-art three-dimensional imaging and the dental operating microscope to guide diagnosis and treatment. Ask your dentist if a root canal specialist is right for you. Hermanson Endodontics, 1709 North Lincoln Avenue in Pierre. Good luck to all hockey players this weekend. Whether you're looking for a new or pre-owned vehicle, Beck Motor Company of Pier is here for you. With new inventory arriving daily, our selection is excellent and sure to fit your budget. If you don't see what you're looking for, we'll find it for you. If you're thinking of a new Chevrolet or Cadillac, now is the time to get that order in. Thanks for your loyalty. Find us online at back-motors.com. Hi, Jason here from Leisure Palace Pool, Spa, and Patio. We invite you to come in and see our expanded new location, 400 West Sioux Avenue and Pier. Transform your new space into the best in industry hot spring, caldera, and free flow spas, and let the stress melt away. Or maybe it's an infrared sauna. Don't miss out. Also check out our pool tables, darts, fire tables, and outdoor furniture. Visit us today for the perfect blend of relaxation and entertainment. And as always, at the guaranteed lowest price. This winter, sip on a delicious hot cocoa and lose yourself in the grace of a fresh falling snow before you smash that hot mug on the driveway and join First Dakota to bank some noise for winter sports. Stomp for block shots, holler for match ceiling takedowns, and go berserk for a perfect dismount. Let's give the home team all we've got. Bank some noise with us at First Dakota National Bank. 
Open a new account online today at firstdakota.com. Member FDIC. AGE Corporation has been building South Dakota for nearly 60 years. For all your site work, construction, and crane needs, AGE is there for you. If you need a boat dock and dock lighting, AGE has what you need. Visit their website, agecorp.com, or give them a call at 223-2732. AGE Corporation, providing high-quality services without sacrificing safety. Visit agecorp.com or call 223-2732. Back here as we continue the second mission report. So we, again, we do know tomorrow, Sioux Falls East and Mitchell, the four versus seven in the Constellation Championship at 9 a.m. We also know that Sioux Falls West is awaiting the loser of this game for the third place game at noon tomorrow. And we do also know Rushmore is waiting for the winner of this game at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon in the state championship. And Jim, one to one at the end of two periods. We'll first start with the home team the Brookings Rangers who are trying to win four in a row how do they win this hockey game I don't know it's a dog fight uh, I don't really know you know number one if you get in the, a power play situation you got to score your power plays they have one power play goal but it was out of five but you got to capitalize on it and I would say the same thing for the for the Capitals what do they have to do you're going to have to take every inch you can get and if there's a mistake you better be there to capitalize on it it is one to one at the end of two periods. We need a winner. Next period, if we don't have a winner, we'll we'll keep playing. Somebody's going to win the next period. Somebody will win and somebody will lose. And we will have the state championship then figured out in the third place game as well. But it is one to one at the end of two. Back with the third period after this here on Capital City Rock and on YouTube. Make that Capital City Rock KKQQ and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. The Fieldhouse and Pier is the perfect place to sit back and watch the state hockey tournament with friends and family. The Fieldhouse, with a full bar, gives you that feeling like you're at the game without having to leave town with a selection of your favorite concession-type food. And who doesn't love some pizza? There's free popcorn, peanuts, and Gardettos to complement any of your snack cravings while enjoying the games on one of the many big-screen TVs. The Fieldhouse, 2013 Eastgate Avenue in Pier. Your place for the game this weekend. Go Caps! years, the Watertown Area Chamber of Commerce has been working to make Watertown and the surrounding area one of the best places in the Midwest to live, work, and raise a family. Watertown is one of the most progressive communities in South Dakota. Watertown is moving forward in so many ways, from construction on their new Watertown Community Foundation Plaza in downtown to a state-of-the-art ice arena. Good luck to all state hockey teams and go Lakers! If you're looking for a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV, you'll find it at Capital City Toyota in Pierre. We know you're well-educated when researching your next vehicle. Capital City Toyota has made it easy to get all the available vehicle information so you can spend less time researching and more time enjoying your new purchase. As a premier Toyota dealer, they have a huge selection of new and used vehicles to choose from. To see their full vehicle lineup, visit their website, CapitalCityToyota.com. Congratulations to all state hockey teams. At Kathy Sun and Shine Properties, they know the local market, schools, and communities both as agents and neighbors. Let one of the trusted professionals at Kathy Sun and Shine Properties help you through the buying or selling process. Kathy Sun and Shine Properties has over 50 years of experience helping people successfully buy or sell their homes. If you're in the market to buy or sell, visit contactkathy.com. Go Capitals! Weatherall Roofing and Insulation is a family-owned business that has served Central South Dakota for over 25 years. Weatherall Roofing and Insulation specializes in metal roof restorations and flat roof repair. They also offer the highest quality insulation using closed cell polyurethane foam and blow-in fiberglass. For all your roofing or insulation needs, make Weatherall your first choice. And remember, just foam it! Start of the third 
period, the White Capitals and the Brookings Rangers tied one to one on the Kubota scoreboard. Somebody's gonna win the next period, whether we extend it out or we play just three regulation periods. One to one, heading to the third period. Winner to the state championship. The atmosphere feels like this is the state championship. It does. But the Rushmore Thunder is saying, you don't forget about us. It's 15 degrees warmer in here than when we started. Uh, we are underway to start the third period, as it will be Devin Dodson off the faceoff win. Gives it to Chase Carr to the Brookings Rangers. Talon Hyde will dump it in deep, and around it comes. Up by Andrew Coughlin. That's turned over to the Rangers. Out to the blue line. Honkamp with a shot that is blocked. And Barry Schweitzer will move it up ahead for Jaron Beck. Beck will try and carry it in the offensive end. It's still up to the blue line. Schweitzer gets it back. But Owen Schneider over there as well. Schweitzer hits the deck. Schweitzer, Schneider. Schweitzer, Schneider is kind of hard to say. Easy for you to yeah. say. <laughs> as it'll be moved in by Jay Harris. He's pushed off the puck by Devin Dodson. Pass will come back over for Devin Dodson. And he'll just calmly exit the zone as it'll be played back around by the Rangers. Beck will pick it up, I believe. The Capitol student section makes it hard to see where everybody's at as Cooper Detheridge now has it. Centering one for Merritt, and he couldn't get a shot away. It'll be Aiden Beam moving up ahead for Keegan Kids. Capitals will make the final part of their change as it will be played back across. David Brink back to Ren Jacobson, sent in by Detheridge. Around it comes to the corner. It'll be taken by Lindstad. He'll leave it for Merritt. And Merritt to the corner. He goes down. Dozark will pick it up and swing it around the boards. It'll be Kitts that will chop at it. It's still fought for on the near side boards. It'll come back around. Coughlin now will have it. Minute and a half gone by here in the third period. This will be iced by the Capitals. And a whistle with 15.28 to go here in the third period. Jack Merritt came up from that corner with a little bit of a limp. He was a little off speed. He does stay out. Face off will come to the right of Spencer Anderson. They've hit the 95 decibel range again inside the building, according to my Apple Watch. Face off will be won by the Capitals and out of the zone by the Caps. You might see the roof come off at the next goal. The way the way both crowds are at, I don't. It doesn't matter who scores. It's it doesn't. Be. This will be iced again by the Capitals. They were just a step on the wrong side of the red line. And a whistle with 15-13 to go here in the third period. Face off to the right of Spencer Anderson. 21 to 10 in shots in favor of Brookings. 1-1 tie in the Kubota scoreboard. Winner to the state championship. Rushmore Thunder already won 5-0 earlier today. Faceoff is tied up, now it's taken here by Grayson Hunsley. Pass will go up ahead, Jace Anderson trying to race in, goes off the referee. Then we'll swing it back around as Anderson. It'll be picked up by Barrett Schweitzer, but he lost the handle of the puck, he overskated it. Now it's Schneider, make that uh, Heller, that moves it up to Schneider. And Grayson Hunsley got to it, but he couldn't get it back away from Schneider. Centering pass, shot is blocked, rebound comes back, there's a shot and a save, Anderson will cover for the whistle. It'll be Jackson Heller. That will. It's a great defensive play there by the. I didn't catch who that was. That's a great defensive play by one of the Capitol defenders. The only way you're going to stop that, was, that puck. Yeah, Corbin Beaster made that play. Dove in front of the puck. Schneider still had a shot. But it gave your goalie a time to recover. David Brink on the faceoff win. We'll swing it up to the side for Jacobson. That shot is loose in front of the net. Capitals will clear it away. It'll go down. It might go far enough for an icing, and it just barely will. Another good defensive play there for the Capitals. Sweeping that puck out. That was, I would believe that was Coughlin. He's played a nice game, Andrew Coughlin. And the Rangers shoot the puck so well that they I wouldn't say always shoot for rebounds, but they're always ready for a rebound. And the Capitals have done a really good job in this yep, hockey game of limiting the rebounds. Face off to the right of Anderson. Jaron Beck and Talon Hyde. It is won by Jaron Beck. Swung out of the zone by the Capitals. Rolling on edge. It'll come down on Ronning, who will have to play it, so there is no icing. Ren Jacobson now will have it. 
His pass up ahead, knocked out by the glove of Beck. Picked up by Devin Dotson in the offensive zone. His shot goes just wide of running. It'll be played back here from Aiden Beam. Back here to the near side, that's tipped along. Beam's got to win the race to it. Owen Schneider behind him. Beam still with it. He's pushed off the puck by Schneider. He's able to stay on his skates. Good strong play from Aiden Beam as the puck will come back over to Beam and he'll go between two different capital players and Beck and Dodson. And Luke Hockapp will pass, goes across. As we move back in, here's Jacob Colley. Colley will swing in. He's pushed into the boards. And he'll be taken here by Coughlin. Left back by Aiden Dozark. And up the near side. It is set out by Devin Dodson. It was touched by Brookings, so there is no icing with 13.30 to go. Here in a tie hockey game in the third period. One to one on the Kubota scoreboard. On the near side is picked up. It is Chase Karch that will leave it for Honka. Honka will play it back over to Karch. And Karch will move it up ahead for Riley Lindstad. Lindstad racing, trying to get in the offensive zone. Dylan Dotson's able to take care of him. And Keegan Kitsch will play it up ahead for Dylan Dotson. Dotson gains the red blue line, and then his pass, trying to go back door for Aiden Dozark is intercepted. And it's back now the other way for the Rangers. There's a shot right in the glove of Anderson, and we will get a whistle with 12.55 to go here in the third period. And Cooper Detridge, he was coming right down the slot, and Anderson won't give him a shot at a, at a rebound. Face off to the right of Anderson. Miller Herman will take the face off against Jack Merritt. But it's one back by Merritt. Jacobson with a shot that got through, but it went wide. Then falling to the ice was Merritt as he blew a tire. Now it's Jacob Colley. Up ahead now for Jace Anderson. Jace Anderson will skate into the neutral zone in the offensive end. Took a shot that's blocked by Jacobson. That one might have stung. We can hear that all the way up here, even as loud as it is. This will be centered, but no one there for the Capitals, and it will go all the way down the ice. Aiden Beam will pick it back up here for the Capitals. This pass off of the skate is now picked up by Andrew Coughlin. Backhand pass, now taken back by Beam. And as Beam will carry it in the offensive end. That shot gloved down by Rodding, though was not gloved down cleanly, but cleared away cleanly by the Rookies Rangers. And Jack Merritt will bring it back in. That shot goes wide. Jacobson will try and send it back to the front of the net. A couple of players will bounce off of each other. Jay Sanderson trying to clear it. And now he's in the corner with four different players battling for the puck. It'll be moved back out. And around it comes. As it'll be taken here by Aiden Beam. Around behind, behind the net. Coughlin gets pinned to the boards. Comes here the near side. There's a shot. Riley Pfeiffer trying to block the shot. Goes back out to the blue line. Hot cop. That shot is blocked by Coughlin. And it'll come out of the zone. And the Capitals will go make a change. They're going to get three forwards on as they move it right back in. And four players changing. And the pass goes just wide of the front of the net. Moved up ahead, looking to try and get to Barry Schweitzer. Bouncing puck will come with a stick of Schweitzer. He will move in, trying to back in it towards the net. But now it's played back out to the blue line where it'll come out of the zone. And it'll be taken back. Grayson Hunsley will send it all the way back across. And I think that is going to be iced. It is mm -hmm. iced by the Capitals with 11.01 to go. Take a deep breath. Every, every whistle, take a deep <laughs> breath. If you're a Rushmore fan, you're probably enjoying this still even more. If you're a Capitals or Ranger fan, I just got to remind you to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Face off is one. Brent Jacobson, a shot that goes wide of Anderson. On the far side, Cooper Deathridge. Deathridge back behind the net. And he'll be played back behind the net still. Tied up. Four players, two apiece. Devin Dotson will get it free, and then he puts it in the netting. And we'll get an offensive zone faceoff here for the Rangers again with 10.42 to go here in the third period. Ten forty-two left in this third period in a 1-1 hockey game. Faceoff, that's out of the zone. Barry Schweitzer will race to it. One-on-one -on -one coming in. Schweitzer in his forehand, a shot that's blocked, and it goes to the netting. And we get a whistle with 10.34 to go here in the third period. And a good job by David Brink to get back. Schweitzer's yep. got a lot of speed. 
Didn't have much time to get a real good shot. He had to get that away because Brink was all over him. Face off will come to the left of Ronning. As the face off is going to be controlled out of the zone. Corbin Beastrom has to go pick it back up, put it up the boards. Grabbed back by Dylan Dodson in the neutral zone. It'll be flipped up by Beastrom back into the offensive end. Comes near the nearest side. Beastrom tried to step up. Make that Dylan Dodson trying to step up. Couple players are tumbling down. And it's Aiden Dozart. All the fans are yelling, but nothing's going to happen. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they're yelling for a whistle or if they're yelling because they're happy. <laughs> Can't tell anymore. Aiden they're Dozart. Yelling. That'll bounce in on goal. <laughs> As in Ronnie will play it back around. They're just yelling. Both sides were yelling. I don't know what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> this will be, it should be, maybe iced. It will be iced. With Maybe nine, they wanted coincidental penalties. I don't know. Yeah, 9.47 to go. I, I, I couldn't tell if it was the Capitals making the noise of a it good hit both. or a good play or if the Rangers are yelling because maybe there's a good hit over there or if they won a penalty. The Capitals maybe won a penalty. But it sure is nice to have the crowd here, isn't it? Oh, man. It's make, this, making this game that much more intense and that much more fun at 1-1 one, one time. This is won by the Rangers or by the Capitals. As the top line out there for the Capitals right now. Aiden Beam will push it back behind the net. Barrett Schweitzer trying to get over to it on the far side. Chase Karch will win the race to it. It'll be played back. Honkamp back for Karch again. Played up the boards. Schneider will turn. He'll just play it out of the zone. And now it's going to be sent back in by Coughlin on a cross corner dump with 9.23 left to go here in the third period. Luke Honkamp lost the puck to Barrett Schweitzer. Flipped up. Knocked down the blue line. Coughlin threw it to the net just wide. And Dylan, uh, Devin Dodson couldn't get a stick over to it. Pass will come back across. Coughlin will fake the shot, play it down, but it's turned over. And it will be taken back by Honkamp up ahead and moved in Owen Schneider. Schneider to the front of the net. Devin make that Aiden Beam was able to knock his man down. But it's back to Honkamp at the blue line. That pass or shot was deflected. Goes into the corner and is picked back up by the Rangers. Here's a shot by Schneider. It's loose in front of the net after it was blocked. Capitals are trying to spring Schweitzer in free. Schweitzer brings in one on two. His shot goes off the glove of Ronnie and a save made. And then Ronnie knocks off the net with 8.38 to go here in the third period. The Hawaii <laughs> fans say he did it on purpose. I was say that I, even if he did do it on purpose, you don't see you hardly ever see a penalty called on that or anything <laughs> called against the goalie because it is such a breakaway net and moorings that you're yep. not going to get a call. It, you've got to pretty much turn around and just push the net off if it's not already off to begin with. Face off to the right of Ronnie with 8.38 to go. That also just tells you how intense this game is and every, yep. you want everything to go your way yep. right now. Everything that happens is a big deal. Face off to the right of Ronning. Herman will take it. Face off is won here by the Rangers. It'll be played back on the far side, up the boards. Fighting for it, it'll be won here by Jay Harris. Harris is in on the off wing on the left side. He is pinned to the boards. Puck will be picked up by Bistrom as he'll go up ahead. Anderson gets it back out of the zone. Set back in to lay it offside, but the Rangers, Puck will come back out of the zone. This will be tipped in by Jay Harris. Grayson Hunsley will get to the puck and send it around the boards. Stick lift by Anderson, but it's picked up by Detheridge. His pass didn't have all lot on it. Now Jace Anderson, two on two, will try and race in the neutral zone. And it'll be played back over. And it will be taken back. Luke Miller for Keller Herman. Herman will send it in deep. Capitals will go get their change. 7.45 to go here in the third period. Still one to one. Somebody is going to break this tie at some point. Signing away from the check of Dylan Dodson was, I believe it was Jacob Colley, and then iced by the Capitals with 7.34 to go. And sometimes it's a good check even when you miss him because Colley gave up the puck, and that's exactly what you want to do when you go in for a check. You don't sometimes have to hit him. Spencer Anderson has made 25 saves in nets. Right now it's 13, 12 saves on 13 shots for Aston Ronnie. One one is our time on the Kubota scoreboard with 7.34 to go here in the third period. Face off into the corner. Somebody's got control of that puck, I believe. You can't see it with the student section. It's town high that gets free, but a shot is blocked. 
Bouncing puck. It is picked up here as Aiden Beam will play it up the boards. It'll come back to Beam on the near side. And around it goes now for Coughlin. Coughlin will flip it out of the zone, bouncing off the stick and knocked out by Hyde. It comes back to Coughlin, who will turn and play it out of the zone, but it played off a capital player. This will be all the way down. There is no icing with seven minutes to go now here in the third period. Up the boards on the near far side, turned over at the blue line. Shot on, save is made. The rebound was in front, but no one there for the Capitals to try and get a shot away. This will be played up. It'll go wide. This will be iced by Brookings with 6.48 to go in the third period. I got to tell you, however this game ends, I, I know the top seed, Brookings, won't feel that way, and neither will the Capitals if they lose. Right. But nobody's got anything to hang their heads about. This has been a great hockey game by tweet between two really good teams. It really is. And the Rushmore Thunder are just watching. They're still licking their chops. As long as this stays tied, the happy they are in this hockey game. This will be moved back in the Rangers zone, or the Capitals zone, as Corbin Beestrom will pick it up for the Caps. He'll turn back in the corner. He gets pinned the boards by Jacob Law, was able to work his way out of it, and play it up ahead for Barrett Schweitzer. Schweitzer moves it up ahead, now taken back by Devin Dodson. Devin Dodson trying to cut free, and it will go wide to the far side. And take it back by Jack Merritt with 6.15 to go here in the third period. The later we get, the more that next goal might just do it. It is now going to be taken on the near side. Beck with two different Ranger players around him. He's able to put the puck around the boards to the corner. It'll be up. Held in, Grayson Hudson with a shot save made by Ronning. Rebound, turned back in front, and it went off the pads of Ronning and skipped over the stick of Schweitzer. Dylan Dodson make that Corbin Beastrom up ahead for Barrett Schweitzer. And offside to the Capitals as Devin Dodson was just a moment offside with 5.43 to go in the third period. Capital fans giving a little encouragement here. Trying to keep that energy level up. That's important in, this, in a game like this. You can't let down just for a second. The bananas better be ready for the one of the two of the both of these teams. Need a lot of potassium, regardless if this game ends in the <laughs> third period or not. You got to be ready for the next day, whether it be the state championship or the third place game. Potassium is on the menu. It'll be at the blue line. It is Keller Herbert that will play it across and in from Jace Anderson with 5.20 to go here in the third period. This will be back behind the net, almost turned over by Brookings, and now moving up ahead is gonna be Cooper Detheridge, but he lost the puck to Aiden Beam. Keller Herman trying to cut free. Herman is in, looking for a second, a save by Rodding, and a whistle with 5.06 to go. Keller Herman, <laughs> he got free again. And Addison Ronnie had no problem coming out. He came all the way out of the crease to meet him and cut off that angle. Nice play by Addison Ronning. 5.06 to go. Face off to the right of Ronning. It is won by the Rangers. It was first won by Dozart, but taken by the Rangers. In the neutral zone, Keegan Kitts will put it back in and around the boards with 4.55 to go in the third period. Up the boards. It is thrown back in as it'll be David Brink. Here on the near side, off the glass, jumping for to Zayden Beam to hold the zone. He goes down, taken back by Dozark, who will put it to the corner. They're looking for a hand pass, not gonna get one as Dozark will play it. That shot goes up into the netting. And we get a whistle with 4.38 to go here in the third period. And you can see how important every possession is. Every possession to hold that thing at the blue line. What a hockey game. It is. What a hockey game. Face off to the left of Ronning. 1-1 one, one still our time. It is one back to the blue line, held in by the Capitals. Grayson Hunsley was able to hold it in. But the puck will soon come out of the zone by the Rangers. Back from Talon High for Jacob Colley. Colley moves in, shot and a save by Anderson. There is no rebound, and we get a whistle with 4.23 to go. We can barely hear the whistle at this point. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear the whistle, right. 26 saves for Spencer Anderson. I think the problem for both these goalies who have played well, we're probably gonna give the South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association player of the game to the guy who scores the next goal. Yeah. There's a shot and a save by Anderson. A kick save at that. 
Right off the faceoff, it came from the Rangers as it's played here in the near side corner. It'll be fished around the boards. Trying to pull it out is Dylan Dodson. He does get out of the zone. And a tie up. Two players will both tie up here. This one almost intercepted by Dozark. It'll be now taken by Barrett Schweitzer. Schweitzer with 3.50 to go here in the third period. It'll be taken back behind the net. Riley Lindstadt will play it. And the pass will come up. Jay Harris into the neutral zone offensive end. Jay Harris trying to swing in. He is taken down. There's a shot that goes just wide. I think you're going to see the whistles kind of go away here in the last three minutes and 30 seconds of a 1 1 tie. It's going to be pretty obvious. Chase Cards with a shot off the stick. That will go into the rafters. I don't know where the puck went to. <laughs> I don't know. It's gone. It is gone. <laughs> Did well, it must ever have come went down? I don't know if it, I don't know where it went to. Maybe it went down. I think it's still up there. People underneath the uh, scoreboard over there, they're looking up. I don't think it came down. Can you imagine if that puck came down during the play? Then we get an extra puck on the ice. With three can only keep track go. of one puck. Play. How are we going to keep track of two? Face off to the left of Anderson. Chipped by Schweitzer, but not on the zone. Jacobson will hold it in. There's a shot and a save by Anderson. And we get a whistle with 3.18 to go here in the third period. The, the clock, the clock becomes a factor. Here at some point, another minute, minute and a half. The clock's going to be a factor. 28 saves in this third period and now in the game for Spencer Anderson as Barrett Schweitzer will pass it for Devin Dodson. His shot and a save by Ronning. Both those goalies are pretty technical sound. They are. On those last couple saves, just dropping down, catching it in their body, and letting it absorb in the chest protector. Really good look by Dylan Dodson. He's a good hockey player. It'll be Jaron Beck to take the face off to the right of Addison Ronning. It is won by the Rangers, but turned over. Aiden Beam, his shot got through and a save made. It'll be here the near side with three minutes to go in the third period. Up ahead it comes for Ren Jacobson. Owen Schneider will move it in the offensive end. Schneider will wait. His pass goes across off the stick, off the skate of Jaron Beck. And now it's played back again. Schneider with 2.43 to go in the third period. Center is one, but it's intercepted by Beck. Beck will wait and flip it up for Barrett Schweitzer. A race for it. David Brink will get to it first. Around it comes to the near side. Jacobson up the boards. And out of the zone now for Jacob Colley. Colley moves in. He'll get free. Around the net looking for a wraparound. The puck came free. And now a chance for a shot save is made. The rebound is turned aside by the Capitals. It goes down. Will it go far enough for an icing? It will. With two Hawaii Capitals doing a great job clearing that, that crease out continually. And that time there was three guys clearing it out. And if you're Spencer Anderson, you're going to buy those guys a couple Pepsis after the game. I think, I think <laughs> Spencer Anderson deserves a couple Pepsis from the guys after this game, too. It'll be Luke Honkamp to the near side of the far side, centering one for Merritt. That's off of his stick. Backhanded, but turned over. Shot and a save by Anderson, the right pad. Oh, man, that was a good shot by the Rangers. And a better save by Anderson. Corbin Bistrom, his pass for Luke Miller, touched out the zone with 1.50 to go in the third period. Set back around and in as it's picked up by Corbin Bistrom. His pass over for Miller. Miller up ahead for Keller Herman. He'll send it in as he'll be coming around the boards. Jace Anderson into the corner. May has lost his stick. Hockey headquarters loose equipment. Beastrom tried to center it. And now it's turned back around for the Rangers. 90 seconds to go in the third period. 1-1 is their score. It'll be Schneider looking for a centering pass. No one there quite yet. Schneider will circle the wagons. Schneider looking to get free. Schneider still circling the wagons. Centers one. A shot that is blocked with 1.15 to go. Poked out of the zone by Jace Anderson. What a play by Jace That's Anderson. That's an excellent play. Gets new legs on the on the ice. With 105 to go here in the third period. Pass will come up ahead. Beam will play it back to the blue line. Kids will wait for the reinforcements to get back across the blue line and send it in. Ren Jacobson up ahead. It's now taken by Coughlin. 50 seconds to go here in the third period. This will be sent in by the Capitals. 45 to go in the third. 
1-1 is their score. This is turned over. Beam will send it in off the stick, and it goes wide of the net of McRoning as it slowly trickles back behind the cage. Up the boards. Aiden Beam falls down, but he's able to get a stick to it. Jaron Beck will turn with 30 seconds to go. Capitals will race in the offensive end. Good toe drag by Beck. Backhand to the front of the net goes just wide. Schweitzer trying to get back on the back check. is now taken back by the Rangers. Two on two in the zone. A pass to the front. Away. And we get a penalty coming up against the Capitals with 11 seconds to go. A slash is called. My 11 goodness. 11 seconds. We have a slash on the Capitals. And now if this goes into overtime, that penalty obviously is going to carry over. 11 seconds to go, and we got a two-minute slashing call against Aiden Beam. And the sixth power play of the day for the Brookings Rangers. Man. The Brookings Rangers are going to have an offensive faceoff here. And for the Capitals, it is imperative to win the faceoff and send it down and get this thing to overtime. You need to win the faceoff. Jaron Beck, faceoff is won. Played back to Hancock, seven seconds to go. To the near side, back to Hancock with three seconds. Shot to the side of the net. It's by behind the net, and we are going to overtime. We are going to overtime in the state semifinal, tied one to one. That's 30, right. to, 30 to 17, we got time. We have time. We got time. We have time, we have all night. 30 to 17 in shots. <laughs> it is one to one at the end of three. We get a five minute break and we will come back and we will get you overtime coming up from the Larson Ice Center. It is a one one tie on the Kubota scoreboard. And any, as it is for the Capitals and the Rangers. We will come back with overtime after this here on Capital City Rock, on KKQQ, and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. The Fieldhouse and Pier is the perfect place to sit back and watch the state hockey tournament with friends and family. The Fieldhouse, with a full bar, gives you that feeling like you're at the game without having to leave town with a selection of your favorite concession-type food. And who doesn't love some pizza? There's free popcorn, peanuts, and Gardettos to complement any of your snack cravings while enjoying the games on one of the many big screen TVs. The Fieldhouse, 2013 East Gate Avenue in Pier. Your place for the game this weekend. Go Caps! <laughs> years, the Watertown Area Chamber of Commerce has been working to make Watertown and the surrounding area one of the best places in the Midwest to live, work, and raise a family. Watertown is one of the most progressive communities in South Dakota. Watertown is moving forward in so many ways, from construction on their new Watertown Community Foundation Plaza in downtown to a state-of-the-art ice arena. Good luck to all state hockey teams and go Lakers! If you're looking for a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV, you'll find it at Capital City Toyota in Pierre. We know you're well-educated when researching your next vehicle. Capital City Toyota has made it easy to get all the available vehicle information so you can spend less time researching and more time enjoying your new purchase. As a premier Toyota dealer, they have a huge selection of new and used vehicles to choose from. To see their full vehicle lineup, visit their website, CapitalCityToyota.com. Congratulations to all state hockey teams. At Kathy Sun and Shine Properties, they know the local market, schools, and communities both as agents and neighbors. Let one of the trusted professionals at Kathy Sun and Shine Properties help you through the buying or selling process. Kathy Sun and Shine Properties has over 50 years of experience helping people successfully buy or sell their homes. If you're in the market to buy or sell, visit contactkathy.com. Go Capitals! 
Weatherall Roofing and Insulation is a family-owned business that has served Central South Dakota for over 25 years. Weatherall Roofing and Insulation specializes in metal roof restorations and flat roof repair. They also offer the highest quality insulation using closed cell polyurethane foam and blow-in fiberglass. For all your roofing or insulation needs, make Weatherall your first choice. And remember, just foam it. Well, we're used to overtime. We've had one at the beginning of the tournament. Now we got one the day before the, or the game before the last day. It is one to one. Overtime number one. Ten minutes are on the clock. We'll be on the clock here shortly. 149 remaining of a penalty kill for the Capitals. Six power play for the Rangers. And the Capitals, outside of a shorthanded goal, they want to at least get this under yep. under eight minutes, or basically yeah, under eight minutes to get themselves back to five on five. Yep. Number one job, you got to get to five on five. That's where you start. They've been pretty successful at it. The Hawaii Capitals played really well in their defensive zone all night long. And we are all set. John, when you're a mite or a mini mite, this is why you sign up. This is where you want to be. When you start playing hockey, this is where you dream to be in South Dakota amateur hockey. Yep. You dream to be in the spot in the state semifinal. You think about scoring an overtime goal to go to the state championship, to win the state championship. You play it over in your backyard when you're shooting pucks on the concrete. <laughs> you yep. play the scenario over and over again. Yep, in front of a packed house. And this is such a fun game. Again, regardless of the outcome, both teams got to feel great. Absolutely. I know it's going to stink for somebody, but it's, both, both teams have nothing to hold their head down on. They can hold, help hold their head high regardless of the outcome of this hockey game. The faceoff was won by the Capitals, played to the Rangers at their blue line with 1.40 to go on the power play as we start overtime. Luke Honkamp, a pass goes over for Owen Schneider. Two goals is going to win this hockey game. We'll see how quickly it comes. Luke Honkamp with the blue line, walks in. He'll wait. His pass goes over for Schneider. Back to Honkamp again with 1.25 to go on the power play. Schneider waits to the near side. Shot, save, rebound. And that's turned to the side, but not out of the zone. Honkamp sells the puck. It is dirty ice with no Zam. Honkamp walks in, lost the handle of the puck. Was almost taken over by the Capitals. Now Honkamp will have it again. Honkamp behind the net. His centering pass out to the blue line, but it's not out of the zone. Back to Schneider on the far side with one minute to go in the power play. Here is Colley. A shot is blocked by Dozark. Comes out of the zone. Honkamp will race after it. Dozark will hound him or will be following him, shadowing him, as Honkamp will bring it back in. Back out over Lindstad. His shot, save made. Rebound, save off to the side behind the net. Pass goes back out of the blue line. It's held in by Honkamp. His pass will come back to the near side. Looking for that bumper play. That puck just went wide by Jay Harris. 30 seconds to go here on the power play. It is Schweitzer on the far side, trying to get the puck out of the zone. It is played up. Capitals were thinking short-handed chance. And that will come out of the zone with 20 seconds to go here in the, in the power play. Aiden Beam will join the play or skate across the net. Colley will play it back behind the net. Jay Harris with eight seconds on the power play. Honkamp here to the near side. It is Schneider. Locks in, save made by Anderson. I don't know how he saw it. I don't think he did. Position save. Back to full strength. Aiden Beam will race across the ice. Lindstad, his pass goes across. Honkamp, his shot and a save by Anderson. It'll be played back over. Another save by Anderson is loose in front of the net. And it'll be moved over and sent back down by the Capitals. And they will just ice it with 7.50 to go here in overtime. Good job by the Caps. They're going to ice the puck and let's reset. We're five on five hockey. Offensive faceoff coming here for the Brookings Rangers. I know there's a lot that's happening, but I don't think Spencer Anderson only made one save on that power play. <laughs> they only got him for one shot, but I think he made about three or four saves. Spencer Anderson's going to sleep good. It'll be face off that is one, Aiden Beam. I'm not sure anybody's going to sleep good tonight between these two teams. <laughs> You're either going to be too excited or too bummed out. <laughs> David Brink to the near side for Deathridge. It'll be at the blue line. And it's going to be used, held in by the Rangers for a moment. David Brink goes across Jacobson. Five on five hockey here in overtime. Jack Barrett into the corner. 
Little pass is going to be intercepted by the Capitals. Dylan Dodson back in, fishes it out. 7-18 to go here in overtime. We play the, uh, this is almost turned over in front of the net. David Brink almost put it in front of his own net for Jaron Beck. That would have been a wild way to finish a hockey game. Devin Dodson tried to send it back in off the linesman, so Barrett Schweitzer will take over. That one actually helped out the Capitals. And then Schweitzer is pulled down, and the referee's arm stayed down. Capitals are feeling like they got a call that went against them. They don't get one back in overtime. It'll be sent back in by Andrew Coughlin. It'll be played around David Brink. Back around the boards on the far side. Almost turned over, Schweitzer's back skating. It'll be played back, Aiden Dozart. Man goes down, two players go down. It'll be sent back across the boards. Dozark will have it, he runs back into Jacobson. And David Brink around here to the near side. Where it's gonna be picked back up. And by the Rangers, and now Talon Hyde goes one-on-one -on -one with Coughlin. Hyde gets around Coughlin, who back behind the net, but he lost the puck to Spencer Anderson, and Devin Dawson will send it all the way down, and we will get an icing with 6.09 to go here in overtime. You are listening to KCCR FM Bloods, as well as also KKQQ Brookings. Stick around. We, we, we will talk to the overtime goal scorer because we know that somebody's got to score the goal to win this hockey game, and they will be the South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association player of the game. Corbin Beaster lost the puck behind the net. Centering pass is blocked. Good job there by Grayson Hunsley. Up the boards, played back down, back out to Honkop, played it back down again here on the near side. Waiting, shot up by the mask of Anderson. He makes the save, and it will be set down, and it will be iced again by the Capitals with 5.47 to go here in overtime. Capitals are content to ice the puck out of the zone. But Coach Steele saying it was tipped in the neutral zone. And will it be tipped in? Will it? They're talking about it right now. Was it tipped? If it was tipped, it's not going to be an offensive faceoff for the Brookings Rangers. It'll go out to neutral zone. No, nope, it was it was not tipped. Faceoff will come to the right of Spencer Anderson. Beck will try to win the faceoff, but Honkop throws it, and that is in front. And Jackson Heller couldn't stuff it in. Talon Hyde back behind the net. Back out for Honkop. On the blue line, pass goes back down for Hyde. Trying to find the handle of it. Back out for Honkop. Sends it to the net. Blocked away by Anderson. 5.25 to go here in overtime. Talon Hyde will play it again. Back out to the blue line. Walked in by Honkop. Shot at a save. And a rebound that was not there. Spencer Anderson was able to cover it up with 5.21 to go in overtime. Well, he Capitals here playing a lot of defense. They need to find a way to get it up to that neutral zone and try to go in and under control with puck possession into the offensive zone. At this point, they're content to just shoot it out of the zone. Jaron Beck will take the face off again. It is won by the Capitals. Flip up, that goes in the student section. And we will get a whistle with 5.18 to go here in the overtime session. Face off again to the right of Anderson. Beck again will take it against Talon Hyde. If you're just tuning in, it's overtime. Brookings Rangers, Oahe Capitals, 518 left in this first overtime. Go tell everybody that you're watching this game. If they haven't been watching it, they should be watching it right now. This will go back. Well, that didn't go into the crowd. Student section was backing away like it was going to. Then a pass across is off the stick. And it'll be taken back here by the Capitals and Jaron Beck moving in two on two. His shot goes wide. Looking for maybe a bounce off the, the boards played to Devin Dodson. And Jacob Colley now will move it back in. He lost the puck. It'll be played over. Devin Dodson will flip it up. And it will be raced back for Chase Karch. Karch almost lost it to Beck. Now Beck will pick it back up. He'll back in and play it farther in the zone. And then we come out of the zone. Beck will play it again. And the Capitals will make their change. It'll be taken back. Keegan Kitts trying to send it in. It'll be in the red line, Jay Harris. It'll be back again, right at the red line. Everybody's trying to find the puck. 
It'll somehow come free. We didn't see where it went to, but it was back to Grayson Hudsley. Tipped in by Andrew Coughlin. He'll go off for a change. 4.14 to go here in overtime. And the longer this game goes, the better the Rushmore Thunder feel about tomorrow afternoon against the winner of this hockey game in the state championship. Aiden Dozart. It'll be played up ahead for Dylan Dodson, but he can't get out of the zone. Red Jacobson shot that one, is blocked. Knocked back down by Dylan Dodson. He's got time, trying to spring free for Dozart, but he is pushed off the puck by David Brink. It'll be played all around with 3.45 to go. That's turned over, but good stick again. And it comes out of the zone. Devin Dodson will make that, that is Devin Dodson that will swing it back in. I say he was just on the ice and off the ice, but he came back on again. Well, right, Lindstad up ahead for Collie, just missing his stick. It did touch his stick, so there is no icing. Collie will pick it back up behind the net. Looking to try and center one. Capitals will get called for another penalty coming up in overtime, and the Rangers will have to go back to play it. And what was the Capitals feel like they should have got a power play will now be the second power play in overtime the for the Rangers. need to get a touch Rangers. They need to get a touch. Six on five it comes with three minutes to go. Schneider moves in. He'll walk in. Schneider from the side of the net. Trying to center one. Comes to the right of, the, of Anderson. Back Delayed across. penalty. It comes for Colley. That goes off the Capitol player. It was touched by the Capitals and they finally get the stoppage with 2.48 to go. A trip is called. And Grayson Hudsley to the penalty box. 2.48 left to go here in overtime. So That's it is the Capitals back on the penalty kill again. And will Coach Steele take his time out? Seventh penalty on the Oahe Capitals. Yep, and the Capitals will take their time out. It'll be the seventh power play for the Brookings Rangers. They're one for six so far. And if you're the Capitals right now, you're saying, we got to get to double OT. There's yep. only going to be 48 seconds left after this penalty power play is over with. So this is a, another important penalty kill. Corbin Beeström is going back to the locker room right now. Is he looking for maybe some repairs? And that's a... We got Grayson Husley in the penalty box right now. Beestrom is one of your four defensemen with Beam and Coughlin and Hudsley. So if you don't have Beestrom or Hudsley, Coughlin and Beam have to stay out there for the majority of the penalty kill. And then if they do kill it off, you still need defensemen. And you're going to have to get a change. 2.48 to go here in overtime. Beestrom's back. The Capitals have not gotten a shot on goal yet in the overtime period. And with 2.48 to go, the Capitals are trying to kill off their seventh power play, seventh penalty kill of the, the evening. Eight penalties called in this game. Seven of them went to the Caps. Aiden Dozark will try and win the opening face off this penalty kill. Aiden Beam will have it, trying to turn it around to the far side. Coughlin racing to it. It'll be played in the boards with 2.35 to go in overtime. 1.48 remaining in the power play. Back out for Honkamp. Honkamp walks in, throws it over the far into the near side. Centering pass goes just wide. It'll be set back in front of the net. And the Capitals are trying to get back out of the neutral zone. Collie plays it over. The Rangers had everybody in front of the net, but they don't have anybody with the puck behind the net. They couldn't get anybody in front. This will be out of the zone by the Capitals. Huge first kill with 120 to go here in over in the power play. And 205 to go here in overtime. It is Collie that will play it back. Capitals are gassed right now. It is the pass goes back over for Honkamp. Swings it to the near side. Lynch down right back to Honkamp the blue line. Walks in, looking for a shot. Now it's back on the far side. Schneider square away. That shot, he scores. Owen Schneider sends the Capitals to the third place game of the Rangers to the championship on a power play goal. They go two for seven on the power play where the Caps go 0 for one. And the crowd is deafening. Owen Schneider gets the game winner. Schneider 
was in front. The Capitals were gassed. And it is a Owen Schneider power play goal. Kelly will get the assist. And the Rangers win it in overtime to go to the state championship. They win it 2-1 to one for the Brookings Rangers. We will return with our post-game show and talk with Schneider in the game winner. You're listening to the state tournament on Capital City Rock on KKQQ and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. So surprising. So much fun for everyone. So not what you expected. So much more to explore. So much to see, hear, smell, taste, enjoy. So out there, yet so close. So pack your bags, fill the tank, grab the kids, tell the dog. What are you waiting for? There's so much Brookings, so little time. Wagner Auto Company is your complete transportation headquarters. Now is the time to order your new Buick, GMC, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles. Plus a good selection of quality pre-owned and certified pre-owned vehicles. They'll take care of you after the sale with a full-service parts and auto body shop with trained technicians. Along with a friendly financing team that'll work with you to find the best deal and one that'll fit your budget. Wagner Auto is your local full-service family-owned dealership for over 115 years. WagnerAuto.com. That's WagnerAuto.com. The lawyers at the May Adam Law Firm in Pierre know how important your families are to you. If you've been putting off getting your affairs in order, know that the May Adam Law Firm is available to counsel you through your questions and help you get the documents in place so that you've made your loved ones secure. Call them at 224-8803 and they can chat with you about how to document your concerns and care for your family. We're all in this together and the May Adam Law Firm is ready and able to help. Pier Regional Airports meets the aviation-related needs of South Dakota's state capital, its residents, and the businesses of Central South Dakota. Pier Regional Airport is a city-owned public airport that can fly out to any destination that Delta, American Airlines, and United fly seven days a week. So, while you're looking to travel by air, enjoy the convenience of flying out of Pier, where parking is always free. Skip the drive and fly from PIR. Hello, hockey fans. First National Bank and Pier is excited to sponsor the 2024 Varsity Hockey State Tournament. Good luck to all the talented players and a special shout out to our hometown team, the Hawaii Capitals. At First National Bank, we're always on your team and ready with the assist to reach your financial goals. Check us out at firstnationalbanks.com or at First National BNK on Facebook. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. When you're in the need for high-quality replacement auto parts, look no further than Xander Auto Parts and Machine Shop in Pier. Xander's has been servicing the Pier area for over 40 years. Their professional parts techs can get you the parts you need and get you back on the road. Stop by Xander Auto Parts and Machine Shop at 500 West Sioux in Pier or call 224-9221. Xander's, your source for domestic and foreign auto parts and accessories. As we welcome you back here, Owen Schneider is standing by with Jim Lloyd as he is the player of the game, winning with the overtime winner. All right, we are ringside with our South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association player of the game, Owen Schneider. What a hockey game. Yeah, it was awesome out there. Great atmosphere. Lots of fans here tonight. It just felt great out there. Owen, take us down in this end of the game. You go to OT. What's the talk on the bench when you get into OT? You know, we're all, we're a family. You know, we just needed to come together, face a lot of adversity. You know, it's never happened to us since here before, but, uh, you know, we came to uh, as one, and we made it happen. Owen, how about that last shot? You guys plugged away, plugged away in overtime, and you found that thing on your stick. Yeah, it uh, wasn't going for me. It wasn't going good for me uh, most of the game there, but I just got lucky enough. And uh, just lucky enough. 
Did you know it was going in when you shot it? I did not. I was happy it did, though. Well, you got the one important one. You're going to go play for a state championship. Good luck for you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Owen Schneider. He is the South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association player of the game. So our final score, two to one, the Brookings Rangers. Owen Schneider, as he skates off to the delights of the Brookings Rangers fans, pick up the picks up the overtime winner, and the Rangers get the power play goal to win it two to one. Both goals came on the power play. Keller Herman stirred the scoring for the Capitals with 9.32 to go in the first period. It was a 1-0 lead for the Capitals, but it was 6.36 to go in the first period. Riley Lindstad, the power play, tied the game up. Luke Honkamp got the assist, made it 1-1, and we played even all the way in overtime. And with 1.48 to go in overtime, Owen Schneider, the power play from Jacob Colley, made it a 2-1 final score, and the Rangers advanced to the championship to take on the number two seed Rushmore Thunder tomorrow at three o'clock for the state title. And the White Capitals will fall to the third place game, taking on Sioux Falls West at noon. Great day of hockey again. Real quick, Addison Ronning, he made 16 saves on 17 shots. Spencer Anderson, he finished with a total of 30, 32 saves on 34 shots as the Rangers doubled up the shots of the Hawaii Capitals. But Spencer Anderson, he, Spencer Anderson played his butt off. Uh, get Jim Lloyd back up here. Heck of a game for Spencer Anderson. He's played some good games. He's played some great games this season. But this one, I think, he, that was his best game all year. And unfortunately, in overtime, you, you come up on the short end. Oh, absolutely. You know, Owen Schneider gets the game winner. But I'll tell you what. There's a lot of plays done on both sides of the ice, and every one of these kids, they left it all out there. This is one of the best hockey games I've ever seen. There, I don't. It'd be hard to. I think maybe that six or seven overtime game between Oahe and Watertown yep. years ago when I was even here, yep. that might be the next best game. There, yeah. there was an overtime uh, Sioux Falls, or excuse me, Rushmore beat Sioux Falls in overtime in the state championship game back in 2018. That one, if, if you, have, you have to go back to that one, maybe a yeah. double overtime game, Rushmore to Wahi, you got to go back a long way to find a better game than what this one was yeah. uh, from, from years ago because this yeah. was a great hockey game. It really was, you know, and, and I go down there and I see all those kids, especially from the Wahi Capitals, and uh, you would have thought they just lost the championship game. I mean, these, these kids, they don't care if they play tomorrow. <laughs> they were here. They were here to win a championship. That's yeah. why they were here. It, it, the third place game is going to be uh, one. It's going to be tough for the Capitals because yep. uh, because they lost this game and lost in overtime. But this now makes it harder for the Brookings Rangers too. Oh, we, yeah. we, we saw this uh, back in 2021. Rushmore beat Owahi early on in double overtime. It was about you know I think a minute or so into double overtime, and the Brookings Rangers the next day took it to Rushmore. Sioux Falls. Two, I believe it was, took it to Hawaii and beat them in, in the first championship in the third place game. These two teams are gonna gonna have to get a really good sleep tonight on a less one less hour of sleep because well it's 918 right now. We got the time change, so it's technically at 1018. That tells you, I mean, it's gonna be much harder for Brookings. Now, they're also gonna say, we'll take it. The Capitals would love to be in that spot right now. The Rangers yep. are gonna take it. But the Rushmore Thunder are licking their chops tomorrow to try and win a state championship for the first time since all the way back in 2018. Well, and the Brookings Rangers will have a have an easier time getting up for it because they're they're playing for a state championship. Like I said, uh, the, the Wahi kids, you would think their season is over. And in a lot of ways, you know, maybe in their hopes it was. But at some point, somewhere along the line, Coach Steele's going to bring that group together and they're going to say, guys, let's go out and win a hockey game. And it's going to be see how they can survive or uh, how, how they're going to respond and see how much gas they have in the tank. I think Oahe will come back, and I think they'll find a way to play well. And, and credit Owen Schneider, uh, scored that power play goal. Uh, again, they, they had a couple of chances. You could tell the Capitals were gassed, and the, the Rangers were getting gassed too. I mean, it was going to come down, and it wasn't really a dirty goal. Schneider had a really good shot. That's that's hard to any goalie to make that stop, but credit him for being in front of the net. He said that the pass wasn't even for him. But yeah. And he, on stick. he told me when he when he shot it, I said, did you know what was going? He said, no. He, he, yeah, and, and credit uh, Owen Schneider getting the game winner. We talked to his mom a couple times over this weekend. He's 
He's excited for this uh, state tournament and he gets a chance to score the overtime winner and get to the state championship and send us to day number three and the, our final day of our two week journey, a two weekend journey of the girls and boys state hockey tournaments. Well, and if there was a difference in this game, I think towards the end of the game, Brookings was a, a play a lot of offense. They were in their offensive zone and they were they were they had uh, Hawaii pinned down there for a long time and they played a little bit more offense and had a little few more opportunities than than the Hawaii Capitals did in that last two minutes. Now I, I will say too and it's just going to be how it is the, the Rangers had seven power plays and that that allows yep. you to play in your offensive end a lot more. You can see the Capitals are gas on their seventh penalty kill against Capitals had just one power play in the game. So their offense and one power play you're not, you're not going to get you can get sustained pressure but it's not going to show up in the score sheet like it will with a seventh power seven power plays for the Rangers and you could tell that they while they were gassed too you could tell they were the fresher team it, it's much easier to play the power play much yeah. you, you, you you save your legs on the power play more than the penalty kill and the Rangers were able to take advantage of that tonight yeah the power kill wears you out and when you have seven of them boy that's a tall task to, to come back you have to you, when the power kill is over then you have to have to come back out with another line and if you've already used two lines uh, killing off the penalty it gets tough it, and then you do that seven times in a game so tomorrow is now set Sioux Falls East and Mitchell at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for the fifth place game after Mitchell won five to three over Aberdeen and Sioux Falls East excuse me Sioux Falls East and Mitchell East came back from a four nothing deficit for Watertown to win five to four and get to the Constellation Championship. Sioux Falls West, they lost 5 0 to Rushmore, and the Capitals, who just fell in overtime 2 to 1 to Brookings, will play the third place game at noon. And then the top two seats, the Rangers and the Thunder, Brookings and Rushmore, meeting in the state championship once again. It's a 3 o'clock puck drop here at the Larson Ice Center, and that's going to be a raucous crowd. The Rangers are going to have, they, I don't know if you can fit anybody else on that side for the Rangers, but they're going to try to fit more Ranger fans on that other side because there's going to be a lot more people on a Sunday afternoon in Brookings coming to watch the state championship uh, for the Rangers trying to win their fourth in a row and the Rushmore Thunder. They're going to, they're going to, they're okay. They're going to be driving home late tomorrow night, but they're going to be okay with it because they know they're playing for a state championship. They're going to be even more okay with it if they're taking the trophy back with them. Yep. Sunday's going to be fun. We're going to be, be here all three games tomorrow and that championship game at three o'clock. It's going to be a good one. It's a repeat of last year's championship oh, Sioux, game. Sioux Falls was oh, Sioux it. Falls, yep. sorry, last yep. year. Two, yeah. two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, back-to-back -back state yep. titles, two Brookings and Rushmore. They played back-to-back, -back and Bro yep. Brookings won both of them. So it is going to be fun. We're it will have be. It. 8.45, we start coverage tomorrow morning of Sioux Falls East and Mitchell. We will see you then. As we want to say thanks to Emma Thielen back at our station, as well as also Drew McIntyre, Rick Miller, who ran our camera, our, our friends at KKQQ for having us on all day long. And we've got one more day to go. Back on the air at 845 tomorrow morning. The Brookings Rangers, they beat the Hawaii Capitals in overtime. Owen Schneider gets the game winner. We'll see you at 845 tomorrow morning as we say good night from the Larson Ice Center. You've been listening to the 2024 Boys State Hockey Tournament on Capital City Rock and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports presented by Kubota. The State Hockey Tournament is brought to you by Pelican Power Sports, Xander Auto Parts, Wagner Auto, AGE, AirTech, Weatherall, Farting Electric, the South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association, Kathy Sunshine Properties, Beck Motors, Visit Brookings, Venture Communications, First Dakota National Bank, Hermans and Entodontics, Hockey Headquarters, J Bar Construction, May Adam, Leisure Palace, Capital City Ford Lincoln and Toyota, First National Bank of Pier. Pier Regional Airport, Hunsley Auto Body and Sandblasting, the Watertown Area Chamber of Commerce, the Field House, and First United Methodist Church. Join us all weekend for state tournament hockey action on Capital City Rock and on YouTube at Capital City Rock Sports presented by Kubota. This has been a special presentation of Riverfront Broadcasting Sports, Central South Dakota's sports leader.